Okay, professional style. Five, four, three. It's five, how are we? All right, we'll go three, ready? Three. Now remember, it's like Wayne's World, you don't say the one because you don't want to over, you don't have a sound issue. You know, you're not just, and someone, you hear somebody go like one, you just, it's just visual for the one, okay? Oh wait, everyone says they can't hear you. Hold on, we gotta do our bits if, with, uh, how are we gonna do our bits otherwise? All right, hold on. Everyone says you're muted. Whatever. All right. Well, let's. Uh, hold on. <laughs> ba ba ba. Ba ba. Ba. You talk. Why can't one thing just work for me? <laughs> Wait a minute, maybe this is the problem. Let's try this. Wait, talk again. <laughs> In a major way. Okay, what if I fool it? Can I fool it by going like this? Da, 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 da. Okay, now talk. Da, 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 da. You guys hearing her now? Da. Da, 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 da. Everybody ask me. All right. Now, why would that happen? Why is everything a puzzle? Because it hates you, Ryan. The biggest mystery of this stream is why does the internet hate Ryan? The biggest mystery of the stream is why do I keep deciding I'll be a producer on something? <laughs> That's because we keep every time we pick a game. We're like, now let's see which game will break Ryan's computer first. And there's, spirit. Ryan, they, I don't know. I don't want to alarm you, but they're still currently making video games. <laughs> like, we could pick a video game. And any, we could pick a video game that probably came out today. We played the council, <laughs> and not only was it our most boring, critically panned series. <laughs> Wait a second. Have we been getting reviews and yeah. no one told me? Oh, no. But I couldn't get it to run in a window, and so it was even more annoying. <laughs> oh, no. And that came out two years ago. Hey, Lemon. Hey, Karma. <laughs> hey, Anne. Hey, Squirrel. I... So glad Karma, you guys this, are here. This is your reminder to go to bed. Yes. You missed it. You missed us last week. Did you not sleep last Friday at all, Karma? Because oh, we didn't no. remind you. To we didn't know. You're still awake. Oh. Awake. We should text you or something. We should have done a short stream just to tell Karma to go to bed. We talked about <laughs> doing. We talked about doing a stream with something that we're going to show you guys that we have possession of, but did not get a chance to stream about last week. But first, we got to do that countdown. Okay, this is professional. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't started yet. So I'm still backstage. Okay, now let's go. We're going to go back to standby, and then I'll count us in. Ready? In three, two. I'm sorry, I think you're on mute. I couldn't oh, hear the last one. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Karma, you had a French exam? Don't you speak fluent French, being a French uh, individual? To be fair, didn't you have English exams, right? Oh, <laughs> I guess that's true. Bonjour. Okay. And then you write your name and then test over. Hey, that's 50 points right there. Um, how are you, Ash? I just feel I'm like good. I just saw you the whole last I know. week. I just saw you on Tuesday. I know. I haven't had a big enough break from you, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. it's uh, good. This is going to be a rough stream. Because I feel like ugh, I already maxed out on my Ryan last week. I know. But we didn't get to uh, shoot our uh, energies out into the internet where we can get a small group of people to pretend like we're worth watching. And so we're yeah. still, we've got that pent up energy. You know, uh, one of my uh, dear colleagues and associates, and dare I say good friends at Jackbox, uh, Claire McFadden uh, is an improviser and uh, she's a writer as well, Jackbox. And uh, when she's had to go long periods without being in a show, she starts getting like crazy because she has no outlet. <laughs> Yeah. So just doing like the most insane bits and like looking for attention 
And I'm like, we're working. And she's like, don't tell me not to fly. It's like, do a show. Oh, no, I wish you hadn't told that story because I feel like that's every stream we do. I know. That's it. <laughs> we're the worst example of that. That's exactly. Except it. last Friday, I had to put up with Ryan. I didn't have any of my cool friends here to chit chat about it. It's true. I didn't get to shoot my music video. <laughs> no, that I did shoot. Do, 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 do. And we'll cut to it now. Here it is. Oh, I muted it. Oh. Anyway, um... uh, oh. it was beautiful. I could hear it on my end. Could you guys out here? That's weird. That's weird. Um, well, why don't we start the show with a showstopper and talk about this first entry in Snack Chat that we uh, we got together at a Target or whatever it was a Publix. Yeah. Uh, while we were at home in Nashville visiting our parents. Yeah, that's what everyone wants to talk about right now. Exactly. Do I dare show the, the can? Are we ready? Yeah, show the can and then I'll show your loving creation you made for me. All right. These are limited time only Pringles Wendy's Spicy Chicken. <laughs> what is happening? Now, I'm very excited about this. I like the Wendy's Spicy Chicken. Me too. But I'm worried the chip is going to taste too much like chicken. Yeah, well, I've had to eat chicken chips before on this stream, so you're going to have to bite the bullet on this one. <laughs> also, is it also going to taste like the lettuce and tomato? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I mean, probably not. Or what about the mayonnaise part? Oh, no, that would be my that would be the worst. I'd rather eat a lettuce chip than a mayonnaise chip. Contains milk ingredients, it says. <laughs> oh, I guess mayonnaise is egg, no. Right? Okay, um, but um, we split the box so that I, I could also try it live in living color. Right, because we were going to, maybe we'll just do a quick snack chat stream. And then yeah. we were just so exhausted by our parents that we couldn't. <laughs> it was 80 degrees in that house, you guys. It was really hot. It was like um, they were trying to put us to sleep and then like murder us. <laughs> um, squirrel's back. Hi, Squirrel. You didn't miss anything. Uh, you missed a couple bits that weren't as funny, so you're right. fine. Point being, we um, split the chips and took them home for this exact reason. And Ryan carefully made me a chip pack. Mm hmm So that it, would, it could stay in my luggage and not get crushed. He carefully went through all my parents' Tupperware to see which Tupperware would fit perfectly fit a chip formation. I went through formation. all of her parents and found the right ones. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, everyone, not one chip broken! <laughs> wow! Truly, this has been, this has traveled across the, our great country. I have to say, I'm impressed with myself. Broken. Really good job, Ryan. Now, whereas I used the intended canister, yeah, and I gotta say, at least a few chips didn't make it back. You needed to, like, fill it out. You mm -hmm. know, like, mine was all perfectly formed in here. I don't even know if I can get it back in, because I'm not Ryan. No, 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 no. Um, okay. well, I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out. I'm 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 actually uh, happy that because I thought you were gonna have just chip dust. Hey, and free Tupperware. And free Mom Tupperware and... we stole from our parents. Mom and Dad won't realize that. Now Anne's asking if they don't have a AC or just don't use it. They do use it. They keep it very hot. Yeah. Even when it's on, uh, I don't think it's performing at maximum efficiency. No, we were also we grew up in Nashville. In case that. Fun fact hasn't been revealed. So it was also just very hot. It general. was 90 degrees there. We also uh, were bunking out in Ashley's <laughs> old room where yeah, for some so reason that... it's 15 degrees hotter in that room. Well, so, by the way, we made it through our whole lives growing up, never having to share a room, never even run the, had to share a bus together. I don't know if we ever and slept now... on the same floor for more than a couple of years. No. <laughs> It made it sound like we have like an eight story mansion. Mm -hmm. Ryan was on the ground floor and I was on the top floor. Um, now, suddenly, as adults, we got to bunk up on tiny little cots. Yeah, I'm in a trundle bed because dad's office is now my old room. And all Ashley, right. Ashley's room is all a shrine right. to all of her old accomplishments. It's a thousand trophies. I didn't have any trophies, all right? Fine, turn it into an office. There's a, there's a picture of Chicago literally taped. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's right. You know, give a little Ryan flavor <laughs> to the room. Whatever. Anyway. That's okay. Dad kept all my old Spider-Man posters in there. It's true. Ryan, I'm worried about it. 
Wait, Lemon, what's about what's your weird Wendy's in Australia? I don't think I saw Wendy's when I was there. Okay, are we going in? I'm going in. Hmm. Ooh, I got sort of like a kick at the end. Did you yes. get like a spicy kick at the end? I, I got a kick a little bit more at the beginning because I think I may have taken it the other way on the tongue, but yeah. These mm. are actually pretty good. <laughs> They're pretty good. It, they do taste a little like spicy chicken. There's something, yeah. Is that a chick? Is that a chicken I'm tasting? What is that? Like a breading chicken? Yeah, I think it tastes yeah. like the Cajuny breading is coming. Yeah, through. it's yeah. There's something. There's something savory in it. I can't quite pick out. Is but it chicken? The spice. Mm, no, doesn't I don't sound think right. So. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Wendy's Milk Bar. So I think I've told this story before, Lemon. When I went to PAX, I was on a panel. And one of the things they did in the panel was the audience would tell us things, uh, Australian phrases and things that Americans would not know. And one of them was the whole concept of a milk bar, which is, I guess, just sort of like a corner store. Although it sounds like it's a restaurant in this case. It sounds like something in the movie Cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, also Australia is mostly like the movie Cats. I was I, I had my um my past nope. panel in the heavy side layer. Don't insult Australia. <laughs> we know lots Stun. of nice people from it. We do. Stun. Stun, I'm so glad that you are in the hidden temple where you belong <gasps> and stay there. If I knew the hidden temple theme song off the top of my head, I would hum it right now, but I don't. But can we all just pretend that I did? Yes. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right. I never really watched the the original. Really? I actually liked it. I'm sure I'm sure that I would too. Oh, thanks, Todd. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Thought if you were here, we'd share with you some of our Wendy spicy chicken potato chip. Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's Wendy spicy chicken. And I passed them through the internet to Ashley. Mmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, and they're in a bag now. Um, I think it's butter. Do you taste a little bit of like a buttered bun? <laughs> Is that a weird thing to say in a chip? I think there's like a buttery taste I'm getting. Let me clear the palate. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit of a creaminess. Okay. Thank I you. I, you feel right. I feel validated. I think you are exactly right. I mean, I guess the, the sandwich has a buttered bun. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so a milk bar is like an ice cream parlor, milkshakes and such. Okay, I do know of the New York City milk bar, which also has like, sort of like Rice Krispie treat cookie ice cream. You know what I'm talking about? Like cool, fancy things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get burgers there too? Mm-hmm. Rad. Karma, happy birthday in five days. Happy early birthday. That's exciting. Are you going to do anything special? <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy early birthday, dear Karma. Happy birthday to you. And many more on Channel 4. And many less on CBS. Wow. And also something on mm -hmm. Channel 2. Great. And Frankenstein on Channel 9. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> That's not one of them. <laughs> Karma, I know you're going to go rent a car, drink some beers, get in a bar. Buy a lottery call, ticket. You know, buy a lottery ticket. Do your living will. Um, <laughs> yeah. Get divorced. Ba finally mop the kitchen. Mop the kitchen like we've all been waiting for you to. Um, yeah, because you're probably, I assume you, well, I'm going to guess it's, it's 18 and I think you can drink at 18 in Europe, right? We got to wait till 21 over here. Like a bunch of, honestly, dorks. <laughs> I said it. Speaking of which, I've got a peach mango angry orchard oh, coming oh, that was a <laughs> I was about to do my political statement on the age of <laughs> drinking. We got like, a, get him off of it. A rally here. <laughs> If there's one thing he goes off about. <laughs> you can't already with a parent. See, that's 
And I mean, I don't know what the rates of whatever are, drunk driving or anything, but I feel like that's good. You learn to drink. You learn yeah. how to deal with it. Anyway, I had to get taught. I got taught by some thugs in college how to drink. <laughs> that's not true. I got really taught to drink at uh, Jelly Fish. That's when I drank Ryan, a lot. Ryan took a, uh, his college thesis was on it, actually. Yeah, yeah, I took a, um, a whole sort of uh, elective on debauchery. Now, last time you poured the wrong thing in first. That's okay. And you're, mad, and you're mad about it. Okay, good. I'm having this straight, and I'm having a lot of it. Okay. A lot of people would be grossed out by this, but not me. Mm. Well, considering you, you are eating it with Wendy's spicy chicken Pringles, <laughs> I don't think... I think the bar, you're, li you're, you're really, uh, it's at least thematic, you know? Here's the thing. Sometimes it's all you, the same level. I made a lot of whiskey sours for people over when we were Yes, there. they were very good. Thank you. Um, so I think I've proven myself, but I didn't want to make a whole cocktail today. And so I was like, what can I just have? Get a little bit of, and then I was like, well, I could pour some vodka and some Dr. Pepper, but I'm not a monster. <laughs> sure, uh-huh. So I'm having some Amarula, my good friend Eden and Kyle got me. Hmm. Is this the one that makes elephants drunk? It makes the elephants drunk. It's very good. It's a liqueur. Oh, right. liqueur. Okay. Now, uh, do you have any other snacks to discuss? Oh, I do. I've got a Hershey's cookies and cream bar. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite uh, like candy bars. Mm -hmm. I, I would agree that's uh, a very good choice. But I rarely have it. And I've got Twizzlers. Oh, ho, ho. but they, wait, they, they, they appear, they claim to be Hershey's chocolate Twizzlers. How so. did you let me go on and on about everything <laughs> else under the sun? And we are just now getting to chocolate Twizzlers. Hershey's Break them out. Twizzlers. At what point will this show become primarily <laughs> snack based and not about I video games? I think we're already there. Uh -huh. Now, this is a very interesting a combination. It smells like. Did any of you ever have the like lip smackers lip like mm -hmm. chapstick that was chocolate flavored? Oh, well, maybe not the chocolate one. That's what it smells like. Is it is it licorice? -y? No, mm. I thought it would taste like a Tootsie Roll. Mm hmm. But it doesn't. Instead, it tastes like. Actually, you know what it tastes like is when you have hot chocolate and you get just a little too much of just the powder. Sure. <laughs> it like. Okay, I follow you. I'm not mad about it. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, it's definitely considered eating the chocolate lip smackers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, uh, lemon. Lemon and our cookies and cream twins. Two. That was us high fiving. You don't get it, Ryan. It's a thing we do all the time. Though. Aren't you guys cops? Cookies and cream. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Cookies. We gotta go catch this perp. You're out of control, cream. Ryan, we're undercover. Play it cool. Oh, sorry. Play it cool, Ryan. Um. Well, I just have a little we're crunch trying bar. Trying to catch underage drinkers in high school. Uh huh. Yeah, but they have to be 13 to be underage. <laughs> and some sour patch kids. Oh, my favorite. So that'll be as we go along. Now, shut up, everybody. That's a real movie theater combo. Yes. I just got to say. Yeah, I kind of just, uh, I didn't know what to get. And they were the closest on the counter. But then I was happy about my choices. I'm excited to yeah. dig in. Okay. Without further ado, we're going to go back to where we, it all started, except ignore Perot. We're going to go back to Frogwares Land for another t dip into the old Sherlock Holmes pool. We're ready to sue someone. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, Laura's here, and she has subscribed to Tier One, Ashley, oh. for three months. Oh. Laura's a subscriber. What's that? Who she? Laura's a subscriber. She's great. We know Laura's a subscriber. She's the best. She's here subscribing, and everyone loves it. Welcome. It's hard to not accidentally have a rhyme in a song, but you managed to do it. <laughs> Ryan, my prose just flows out of me, okay? It yes. doesn't need to rhyme. Yes, you're right. 
Uh, hey, Laura, thank you so much for your subscription. We promise eventually we'll have emotes. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot we're supposed to do things. <laughs> it's a statement about something. That's right, Laura. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know, eh, did I ask this on chat already? Do, would the chat want the chat to be part of the stream in terms of like putting the chat on screen visually? Um, oh, yeah, that's I feel fun. Like that used to be a thing everybody did. Then the chat replay thing came along. Now it seems like not many people do it anymore, but we're often talking. I, I feel like I have to repeat what is being said for people who aren't watching the chat. For or posterity. Something. Yeah, and I want to, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, if that's old hat. Is that out of style? But, you know, we could do it. Yeah, because be, be fun. We don't want to be. <laughs> we have to be. We are edge. only the cutting edge. Now, hand me my Wendy's chips. <laughs> OK, OK, people do it for the just chatting streams, which is half of this one anyway. This is a very supportive group. Yeah. Is NSFS not safe for school? It's safe for or work. stream. Oh. Not safe for stream. Why did I go to school first? Not safe for swimming. <laughs> <laughs> this stream is not a flotation device. <laughs> not safe for safe. Anyway, <laughs> shut up, Ashley. Oh! Because we're going to play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened Remastered Edition. And there's a... You'll instantly be able to see what the remastered one of the remastered features is right away, and it'll be really cool. What does remastering mean? They they make it better? It's a loose term in the video game world. There's a lot of different uh, ways to say we're we're selling you the same game again. Great. Um, if you you can have a a uh, like a HD edition or like a we're uh, like an upres where it's just like we're selling you basically the same thing except. Now computers are better, so you can get a higher resolution, but we really didn't change anything. Um, or you could sell, like, a remaster implies some additional work, like they added some features, um, mm -hmm. potentially changed a few things. And it could also imply all the way to, we remade the whole game. It's the same story, but we remade it, which mm -hmm. this isn't that. This is more of a in-between. Um, Laura's time. telling Laura's telling me that they go in and just do pixels. So that was mm -hmm. that was clear. That was a clear just explanation for me. Poke so. it, you poke it, and then yeah, Laura's got it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I really do want to release a new game called the Remastered Edition. We should call this Stream Remastered. <laughs> Since we were off for a week, have we come back remastered? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, but now we're gonna have a lot of fan backlash of like the original version of Ashley was better. <laughs> I don't like the new voice actor who plays Ashley in the remaster. You got to you got to buy the vinyl of all of our streams cuz it's just a better sound quality. I want to hear all the warm clicks and pops. <laughs> Restreamed was one of the uh rejected titles for you don't know Jack, the last one, Karma, so good one. Oh, that. really? Yeah. Um okay. Uh shall we jump in and take a look at this game as we talk about it? Oh, I feel like it's coming home. You it know? is. Now, the thing to remember is it's a Frogwares game from the mid-2000s, <laughs> which means there's something wrong with it. Poor um, Ryan is trying to get it to work on his computer. It's not quite their fault. It's just it was not meant to be played in a window, which I like to do for OBS. Point being, uh, once I can get in there, my mouse doesn't want to leave. So we have to stick with it, everybody. Uh, which is why, tell me early on about what you think of the sound mix, because I can change that, but I, I just want to kind of get it locked down pretty quick okay okay let's get this rolling let's not um dilly dally about it uh, let's see ryan as this is happening i just want to point out that Anne apparently convinced friends to cosplay for an anime that didn't exist and try to fool people yes oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> what was and the name of it i'm amazing. sure you, you must have had a hilarious name for this anime Okay. Oh man, I, I want every I want to know everything about that. Well, right, and this already looks like such a more fancy game than the last one. Wait, when did the last? What year did the last one we play come out? Wait, you can't move. I'm in the game, mind. Ashley. Never mind, you what? can't move screen. Um, this computer, I'm gonna throw it away after this. <laughs> I can only use it for this game now. Okay, well, let me try to find. Why don't you figure? Out. So the previous one was a silver earring, which I think was at least a few years. Okay, this now. Mm -hmm. This one came out in 2007. That's the non-remastered and... original, right? 
came out Correct. in 2007. Okay. And uh, Silver Earring came out in 2004. Okay, so three years. Um, now, I don't know... It does look Dungeons & dragons -y. That's true, Karma. It's very creepy. So... Yeah! This is this uh, uh, game has not only Sherlock Holmes elements, but Cthulhu elements, Lovecraftian elements. Okay. Lovecraftian. Lovecraft himself, problematic, definitely racist. Ignore that part. Oh, oh right, you're right. You told me that, yeah. Um, and that does shine through in some stories, but I think that it's more metaphorical and we probably won't deal with it directly here. Um, okay. However, the famous stuff is uh, he, does, he did is about people going crazy because they couldn't believe all the insane stuff they were seeing, primarily Cthulhu, the monster octopus squid god that uh, always destroys the universe or something. Um, so this game has elements of that, which I think is gonna, oops, did we lose that? You, you froze, <laughs> so I wasn't sure. Am I back? If I had frozen or you had frozen. <laughs> Am I back though? You're back, but because... it was right after you said that you you would be so terrified you couldn't handle looking at the, <laughs> that the scary creature. And I was like, hold us down a second. That's him in the save menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. are we going all crazy? And then you froze. We are going crazy. Also, the way it was, uh, was on our side was I was like, and that's Cthulhu. And you just turned <laughs> off your camera. That's what it seemed like. <laughs> didn't, didn't want it. Um, Okay. So the, the question then becomes, is this going to be a, a story where Sherlock Holmes deals with the mysticism and, and stuff? I, my guess, I don't know anything about it. My okay, guess I don't is know anything gonna, about it either. I think they're going to string us along about it being real magic, and then at the very end, it's going to be revealed that it's just a cult, and it's not real magic. But who knows? It could be real magic. Yeah. I'm predicting a Scooby-Doo moment where we mm. unmask the ghost, but... <laughs> Every single game we have played has turned into something weirder and darker than yep. I ever thought possible. So who knows what's going to happen? Well, I've only seen a little bit of this so far, but it already starts with a weirdly dark opening. Okay. So I'm excited about it. Do you? Th uh, here's what my question is. In the remastering, do you think that they didn't want to spring for a new font? Because all of this is like steampunk and then it's like Helvetica. <laughs> So here's something you'll notice right away. The, I have two options. We could play the game with the user interface in the correct aspect ratio, or with the game uh, characters in the correct aspect ratio, not both. Oh, oh no, 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 that would be silly. This is Frogwares. Exactly, and I don't think that that was a problem with DX Wind or anything like that. I think that's just when they did the remaster, they decided they wanted to go ahead and support widescreen aspect ratios, which is good. Um, and in fact, it looks it's good. The game looks we'll better. Su we'll support it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they didn't redesign the interface to support that, so it's just stretched. So. Oh, I see. I believe that's that's the case, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. I've tried it. I thought I would play it in square instead, and so it looked so it looked nicer. And then all the characters squashed, and I and, I, and even without DX Wind, I could, anyway. I don't think that's that's uh, a bug on my end. I think that's how the game actually handles it, uh, and they thought that was cool. So we're gonna play it with better looking characters and some wide text. I think that was smart. Um, I like that this menu, just like Silver Earring, has a weird central image, maybe a starfish. Yeah. It's, it looks like a, a starfish with this evil closed eye. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know anything about Cthulhu really. So as we go through, feel free to interject things. I know there are people in the chat who know more. Um, we got but have you screen. ever oh. seen Now Pretty Protectors, which is a fierce feline five? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect the world from the evil yarn. I thought cats loved yarn. It's an acronym, Ryan, in this situation. <laughs> Anne, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Anne got bullied into taking a picture when she was wearing normal <laughs> clothes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That is amazing, and I love it. Of I also it thought reasonable. that you said instead of once at a con, what I read was once a con man. Once Why a con you artist. My... Why don't you take my picture in normal clothes? Hello, I'm a con man. Can I take a photo? <laughs> I was like, what's the, what's the swindle here? <laughs> God, that's good. Okay. Um, let me know about the game volume, which I believe I can adjust. Uh, and I think we should jump in and watch the intro movie to 
Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened, Remastered. I'm excited. I hope it crashes. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> Go away, you swine! <laughs> Leave, or I'll make you bleed! Oh, These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Uh -oh. Holmes! Help me! Do Wait. not fight the calling! <laughs> Is this Sherlock? That's Watson. Blood! I beg of you, Holmes! For day! For day! Ship blood! Do you remember my short lived soda brand, for Tang? <laughs> no. Yeah! No. It was a uh, Wendy's <laughs> chicken Don't flavor. Like That's right. Uh, again, this nightmare haunts me. Watson is having nightmares it won't like let me food, forget. which I really love as a start. How did this all begin? Oh, we get to go back in time. No pillow for Watson. He kicked it off. Frog represents everybody. Karma's right. The British. <laughs> oh god, the British. Oh god, the British. A Sherlock Holmes adventure. Oh. Here we are, back in our home turf. Cobbled Victorian streets. This is where I feel most at homes. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Disappointed <laughs> in me a split second later. <laughs> Two years ago, 1894. Wow. Is this going to be a two-year journey? Like, Black Dahlia secretly took place over 10 years? Well, this is comes right uh, after uh, <laughs> uh, the council, actually. It just oh. leapfrogs right into it. <laughs> I see. Got it. Is George Washington also in this one? Just remind me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that he isn't. <laughs> Laura, I think that's all I could ever ask you for, Laura. <laughs> Not B two two one B Baker Street. Who lives in two two one A? Is it the landlady? Oh, maybe. But why isn't it on the door? Did they split a building in half? Duplex. Good morning, Holmes. Morning. Looks like a typical London day. Fog in the morning. British. Fog in the afternoon. Ah, and here's a surprise. Pizza on a bagel. Fog in the evening. <laughs> Good morning, Watson. Can you imagine? I have been at it since five a.m. And I scarcely think my list of patients for the day has even been touched. What is more insufferable, I haven't even had a moment with the morning paper. They say the, the minister is, will assuredly... The game is, if anything, loud for me. Is it Holmes, loud for the... whatever that? is the matter. You haven't what heard you... a word I have how, said. What, how is it for you guys, chat? It is the tedium, my dear Watson. Life is ordinary. The papers are lifeless. Any hint of audacity and, dare I say, romance has vanished from the criminal world. Holmes, it is only temporary. You know perfectly well that sooner or later an exceptional incident will occur in London or thereabout which cannot rest till the talents of Sherlock Holmes are called into play. Holmes. Then it will be up to your agile wit to set things right, so this, this which should he's, he's satisfy for your a constant need here. for mental gymnastics. It's classic. I hope the heavens hear your words, Watson. I hope they do indeed. I must take my leave, Holmes. I have an oh, appointment anyway. with a rather odious man. He just came man, in and ate Captain what I assume was Sherlock's breakfast because he didn't state, order it. And then he's leaving. Half a ham sandwich with a knife and then he left. Involving his manservant. Why don't you get out for a brisk walk, Holmes? Perhaps go, go, buy go, go, a go. newspaper or visit that fellow, Barnes, over on Glentworth Arms. Street. You might remember him, the bookseller. He has some new volumes of the particular sort that should occupy your mind for a time. You know what you're into. <laughs> yeah, there's so many textures. So many textures. I mean, it's it's like coming home, like you said. All the textures, <laughs> these are like the same textures from the last game. Every, like, they ordered a thousand wallpaper swatches, and they're like, what can't be wallpapered? <laughs> okay, now, um... What you'll notice here is we have the same point and click controls as we have in the previous game. Okay. Um, which is lovely. But guess what? That wasn't how the game was originally released. What? Originally, they wanted to try something crazy because they were like, 
This is the first, I believe, game in the series that rather than any pre-rendered elements, it uses entire 3D environments like a modern video game does. Okay. Which means that when it was original, they wanted to show it off and they did this. Ba ba ba! First person Sherlock Holmes mode. We can you're go anywhere. Wayne, you're Sherlock, Sherlock right now. I'm How the it... Sherlock Holmes. How does it feel? I feel a little itchy. Look down. What kind of pants are you wearing? I don't exist. Oh. Unfortunately, I was looking for a mirror. Um, yeah. Um, it seems pretty cool, actually, and I think that I might like playing the game this way. This is cool. You can get a close look at everything. Now we can always, the cool thing is you can always at a, at a moment's notice, you just flip right back if you want to. Yeah, I like the option of flip flopping. This is the more cinematic approach, but then if like, yeah, if, if you're like, can't, are you sure you can't get close to that dresser? Which I know you're going to say. I am going to ask that. I'm going to jump right in and do it. Now, I there aren't very good instructions. Put him back to bed. Uh. <laughs> um, there aren't very good instructions for like the keyboard shortcuts, but I have accidentally found something that's going to be extremely useful for us. If is you press... it the rag finder? Yes, it is. Literally. <laughs> if you press, <laughs> if you press spacebar, oh look at that little hand that appeared on the door. <gasps> it's showing me everything I can interact with, which is this is a game door. changer. Now, adventure game purists might call that a bit of a cheat, but it's going to help us if we get stuck. Ryan, this is so many improvements, and yet I'm so st so confident that we will still get to a point where mm -hmm. we're like, how does the game work? We don't know how to play. Where do you, how do you open this? Right. Um, we do. Did I you still just pick up matches. I picked up matches off this thing. Look at our check out our cool menu. We got items. Oh. I got a knife. Whoa. <laughs> when did we have a knife? We started with the knife. Holmes never leaves home without it anymore. After the violence wow. from last time, when Major oh, sure. What's His Face nearly shot everybody. Wow. I know, Karma. I'm sorry. Maybe he'll get a gun in the next one. Uh, we have all our dialogues we can scroll through, just like the last game, except this time the dialogue from the cutscenes are in here, too. Thank goodness, because like Squirrel and Karma and Laura were pointing out, there's a lot happening, like, right away. Everyone's oh, yeah. talking so much. Yeah. Um, it's hard to... I feel like these games, for some reason... It's hard to focus on what's being said during the cutscenes. <laughs> Maybe yeah. because the music mix is a little loud. But I think basically Watson came in and he was like, Oh, Holmes, what are you doing? I love life. I'm going to eat some food. And Holmes is like, I'm so bored. There's no murder at all. And Watson's like, well, well I'm going right. to go. Hmm? You forgot that this is a remembering. We're, we are seeing. This is two years ago. We're seeing Watson's version of the events. Yes. Because first he was like, I'm wearing cute pajamas in my little bed. Oh, oh think... nightmares are scary. And then he's like, right. let me think of two years ago. And that's when we came in. Do you think it's going to be like a Rashomon where then we play the game from home's perspective? And he's like, <laughs> Watson was so annoying. Comes yeah. in. I was just trying to have a, see the paper. And he's like, what's up, Sherlock? <laughs> Skateboards in. Halfway through, we get to Sherlock waking up. And he's like, oh, well, oh, nightmares are so scary. Oh, I remember two years ago. We have to play it all again. <laughs> Wait, there's a discussion of Sherlock homies in the chat, which I have to say I can't officially endorse, but I love. Um, anyway, and so it seems like Watson was like, I'm going to go talk to this captain who I know he's having problems with his manservant. And he's like, why don't you go to the bookstore? That's what he Yeah, he's like, you love books, buddy. I know you're having oh, a bad day. Great. Nobody's getting murdered. There aren't any like debonair thieves running around. No. It's tough for you. But, but go to the bookstore. They've got the books you like. Oh, that's right. What's it called? Brian back. Brian Brian Bach. Rickenbach Falls. Yeah, that's the painting. That's the Turner Wait, painting. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, look! I can scroll through inventory with my scroll wheel. Oh. Oh, this is really this is changing everything. Oh, You're this definitely... is definitely. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's not the Turner one, but I oh. think that's the illust one of the illustrations. It's just him remembering when he was dead. Yeah. We could never have seen... Look, look, if we were in regular mode... You never would have seen that detail. Can we get into... Yeah, that's too... Come on, I can't even see it. Um. Anyway. 
Uh, but the option to play in third person was patched in with this uh, remaster, so it's nice to have it. All right. Also, we have this little uh, indicator in the corner, which I think is supposed to tell us whether we're crouching or something. I haven't quite figured that out. Like that little just picture of Holmes going, I'm here. I'm a man. Oh, I see it now. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. And I think it changes if we... I don't actually know how to crouch. Because the, the game says it's this button, but that just changes modes on me. So I don't know. Um, all right. You want to go to this bookstop you're supposed to go to? Yeah. Wait, so this room we were just in, this is Watson's room, right? I think it's the bedroom. It's just a bedroom. There is also another uh, door. Maybe Watson's room is like over here. I don't know if I he thought lives it... here or not. They're roommates. They have been, but not all stories, right? Um, You're right. Uh, But isn't that the bed that we saw him wake up in two years ago? Or oh, maybe he be. was staying with Sherlock. Yeah, you're right. I think it is Watson's room, you're right. Although look, the it's all discombobulated just like it was in that dream sequence. What is the what is the picture of the pretty ladies he's got? Okay. Watson loves this picture of an old time lady. Watson, buddy, you love a big hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's a hat. He's a hat man. Yeah, all right. Man, I see. All right. All right. All right. Okay, no shame. No shame in <laughs> that. Cool, buddy. That's cool. I uh, have a dash your friend. I think you would. <laughs> oh god. All right, are you ready to enter the big I think kind of open world of London. Oh my gosh. Yes. And hopefully get some music back in this game, which disappeared. Can for some we reason. switch back to where I can see him? Cause I, I get disoriented when I can't see Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh wow. But it is like so much farther away. It is. Um, uh, all right, we'll pick our moments. The only thing I've noticed so far is watch when he leaves, he instantly gains a top hat for going out on the street. <laughs> Check this action out. It's really good. That would be my dream. The strange. Oh, they the cut strange. away during the, the changeover. Uh, He's gonna have it now, I bet. Yep. See. Oh. Uh, Wait. Can we stand? Can we stand just in the threshold? Magic was real. The one thing I would ask is that I would have a spell on my house. Every time I leave the door, I get a top hat. No, oh, no top hat. Oh. Let's see. And then, oh, there he goes. Pops it back on. In first person, does just like the brim appear? <laughs> I don't see my hat. Oh. Now, you may have seen me. I posted this on Twitter, but the thing that this is mostly good for is getting uncomfortably close to people. <laughs> oh, no. Step away from that child, Ryan. Too late. I'm going to kiss him. <laughs> what was that? I can press my space bar and get interaction points, and it's like, you can talk to this child on his lips. Oh, it's a, like a... Speech bubble. Speech bubble. I thought it was like a weird tongue depressor or something. It was just like a piece of wood. Uh, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, Laura's that child right. is 100%. A princess has been attacked and we're just dilly-dallying around. Princess attack? Oh, you're right. Um, I have no reason to go there. Okay, he doesn't want to go there yet. I have you don't no want to pick up the paper? Yeah, I'm going to go talk to this guy. After this? Do, 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 do. Is it too early in the game to say that headlines don't sell paper? Newsies sell papes? Never too early. So, my young friend, what is the news? Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Those old stuffed shirts ate up half of London at their big scientific <laughs> to do, and some Candace media <laughs> no, no, no. princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. <laughs> no, no, no. A Scandinavian no, royal no, no. is in London? If you and the lads can look sharp and find out more about her visit, <laughs> there will be some coin for your pockets. <laughs> That's the voice Ryan would do to make fun of the paper found, boy. The regulars will have it. <laughs> I'll send the words out to the lads. No, that can't be right. Is <laughs> there's it? A glitch. There's a glitch in the game. It oh, I forgot. Necessary to keep my some of the voice files were form. missing, so I just went ahead and redubbed it. <laughs> just blindly reading off of cue cards? Yeah. Is it too early in the game to say, oh. Can City itself? <laughs> well met. Oh, I didn't listen to anything that terrifying little boy said. <laughs> well, let's look at the dialogue. Yes, Karma. He Nothing sounds like a dude game. trying to be nine. Yes, and I know, and Laura, they didn't even hire a lesbian, as far as you know. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. these old stuff shirts ate up half, half of London at the big scientifical to do, and some Candy's Navia princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. 
Okay. Helms is like a Scandinavian royal in London. If you know that's uh, Luke Sharp, find out more about her. And he's like, I'll find out about her. Okay, great. Oh. Oh. Any WLW? I don't know what that means. It's probably something I should know. Yeah. Brian, um, Anne says that she bets you could do a better paperboy, so let's hear it. Let's hear your paperboy audition. Sorry, let me pull up the script. Yeah. Mm. It's a cold read, and usually we like to give you 24 hours, but... I mean, I like to do... I just think a cold read's even better, because... Oh, yeah. women loving women. Okay, that's cool. You're out in your head about it, you know? Okay, so at first he's far away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. You, strain, yeah, so you can... Boy, strain! Strain! Straight, boy, straight. Straight. You're high. You're high right away because for some reason turning straight. around really got me in the moment. He's not paying attention to you right away. No, it's the full environment. <laughs> oh, well, we have fun. Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. <laughs> Strong. No, man younger. Trembling. You gotta go younger. Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Yes. Strand! <laughs> this guy's got range. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My, my neighbors are emailing Ask Ask Emily or whatever the Chicago Tribune one is. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know, we do have a document here. Uh oh. Um, oh, all right. Get the Black Dahlia vibes. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how much of these games is just reading old newspapers. Yeah. Uh, okay, so there's a scientist who discovered an upcoming and rare celestial alignment of seven stars. Sullivan, coming in a couple weeks. Detailed observation will require special optical equipment, okay. which only the Academy has. It's September 6th, so we're getting ready for my birthday in two weeks. Yes. Except this, oh, it is September 6th, you're right. Except this guy's it's in a couple weeks and it's in December. I'm skipping uh -oh. a couple months, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always... Karma, everything gives me <laughs> Black Talia flashbacks. I'm just trying to read a magazine in the waiting room of a dentist. <laughs> Great. New head found. Um, okay, so it's going to be a cool so, event. So, Fomal Holt is the name of the professor? No, Professor Sullivan. Sullivan. Who's Fomal Holt? I guess that's the event itself. The alignment okay. of the stars. Uh, okay. Oh, Meanwhile, strange disappearance. The recent visit of the Swedish princess Ilder will be remembered as yet another unfortunate event in a series of mishaps related to the scandal-plagued princess. <gasps> we can only hope that relations between our countries will survive the strain. Strain! Hi, Eddie! Eddie! What's up? Uh, no. Well, ba Black Dahlia has changed us all forever, and that's what really is binding us together as a, as a stream community. <laughs> that's Nobody true. wants... Black Dahlia to have affected their lives, but we can't deny it. <laughs> this is going to surprise everyone, but I'm going back in for some of these Wendy's. Go chips. for it. I'm having them too. They're over here. Although I think I'm going to have a crunch bar. Um, but, but, but. So there was something with chocolates. Uh, Minister of Affairs, the British okay, extraordinary affair with the chocolate awk, that which readers may recall led to the dismissal of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. British that feels like kind of some kind of slur. I don't know what uh, it is well, or who it's related to, but I don't like saying it. Uh huh. Uh oh. The bodyguard disappeared. Mm. Bodyguard disappeared. Never returned. Okay, so there's a princess. The trouble follows. Her bodyguard disappeared. Okay. And he's a striking specimen. Mm-hmm. The Northern Lighthouse Board announces the loss of faith employee Matthias Fernston due to an unfortunate accident. Security guard for the last 20 years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Physician will stay within his family. That's nice. Imagine returning from India just to take over your uncle's job as a lighthouse guard. <laughs> it's true. Sort of a huge world to a tiny world. Yeah. This one's probably a human interest one. Strange no. fish. Wait, is this about... Hmm? 
a man coming from the future because this guy, this picture was definitely taken yeah. in like 1964. That is a polo shirt and some dockers. That is not Victorian dress. That's not of the Regency. Uh-uh. Uh, Lemon has Cool Mints, Tim Tams, and Cool Ranch. And all those sound amazing. Now, the way you're spelling it makes me think it's a cigarette brand. So I assume you're pretty cool, Lemon. Cool Mints? Yeah. Cool Mints. Cool Mints. Cool Mints. I do love Tim Tams. Okay, so this guy found, oh, a human scalp. Oh, no, it proved to be a wig. Three dyed in a bright red. A peach parfait Japanese Kit Kat, Eddie. Tell us more. Hey, let's laugh a bit. <laughs> okay. Now, tell me if you've heard this one, Ash. Mm -hmm. A man enters a butcher shop. Okay. The proprietor, a man of declining years, is cutting away at a joint of beef. Okay. The customer is stunned to realize the butcher is missing several fingers on his left hand. Uh-oh. The butcher, seeing the shocked look of his customer, says in a shaking voice, I see you looking. I tell you, I always like to put a bit of myself into the work. But with age, I'm a lot less handy. Oh! Copyright Jaleel AMR Drugs Industry. They sure did it. All right. So then there's a lot more of this. And we'll probably have to look at that later. All right. Okay. Ooh, creamy with a peach zing in it. <laughs> Laura's still loving it. Uh, oh, hell yeah, on the chocolate ice cream. Really oh, good show out for, for Snapchat today, shop, everyone. Man. I feel like we didn't respect your snacks earlier, and I well, just want to say, the you guys are bringing it. Street. Oh. Take your first mm -hmm. right, and then the next left, and you'll find it straight away. Hmm. Yeah. How close can we get to him? Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that close! Like, hey, buddy. I've been having some nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> the turn to head turn. We triggered his like proximity detector. Oh, he's got. Oh, <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little weird. He has like no neck when he turns. Hello, Miss. Walk between them. People think that's fun and not annoying. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you guys talking about? Business? Everyone has the same mustache. Yeah, well, they had a surplus. Who's this guy? That cop did look like Dr. Philly. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> half Melted <Although> half... Thompson. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. This is just the same mustache with they scribbled in the bottom. All right, well, he told me to go this way. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, how close can you get to that puppy? Well, I don't remember how to crouch. Running start. Um, <laughs> it's funnier from far away. You just like hopelessly staring at a tiny dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, dog. Hello, dog. Do you know who this rash of thefts <laughs> is being committed by? Dog, will you amuse me for the day, dog? I am here. Oh. That's oh. my cameo. My respect, Miss Fleming. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Thanks for telling us. Okay. Is that all you can say to her? Yeah, well, we'll try again. My respect, Miss Fleming. Oh, my respects. I thought he was saying to us, I respect Miss Fleming. Oh, like, hey. be cool to her. Don't really get too close to her. Don't say anything weird. Hey. Don't try to kiss her. I respect this woman. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Right, How book. are you? I have some new novels that should interest you. A nice illustration volume, volume on fish and a collection of legends on piracy. They must be here somewhere. Sherlock Holmes has the same book taste as Anne. Mm-hmm. Miss <laughs> Fleming, I want you to know that no matter what everyone says about you. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're pretty short. What's happening? What Are you sitting? You, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Is he sitting? He came tall. Maybe he's just a sh short guy. That's cool, too. Hey, we all love it. Oh. Oh, Those his tulip's not watching. doing great. 
flowers need water. Well, that's going to be a clue. The princess hated flowers that weren't watered. Ah, the pirate's book. It's a pirate's uh, book. Desperate pirates. Who pretended to be the lover of his brother-in-law. We now close this chapter on the cruise of famous pirates with the most <laughs> terrible of the lot, the dreaded Sharks of Magrinty. <gasps> oh, no. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Magrinty, Flood Atrocities with List Required, dozen volumes. Magrinty himself is experts a psychopath and deviant in spite of his indisputable seafaring skills and qualities as a leader. And he brings... He just is efficient. He brings things in on time and under budget. Look at the bookmarks. Uh, is, is this, that, is, is that this what, is like, yeah, what is that? this is just scroll down and scroll. Oh, down. I thought they were like tabs. Yeah, they sort of effectively are, but. Okay. Pirate McGrinty. Oh, he's got a oh, treasure okay. cache. Lost treasure. Mm hmm. Okay. Where's okay. where's the lost treasure? Yeah, the this West vessel Coast is of called the Vampire. Okay. Well, the Vampire. Yeah. Helms. Is that a little sheep? Yeah. Statue? Oh, it's an elephant. It's a birdie. Oh. Is the trunk up or down? Apparently, if the trunk's up, it's good luck. Oh, I'm over here. Um, it's down. Mm hmm. Bad bookstore. I would Book love to visit C4. this bookstore. Yeah. Lane Snapper is my name. Silva. Silvestro. I'm Red Porgy. <laughs> okay, these are those books I ordered. Hmm? He I will runs around them. and like he Thank you, and goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Yeah. I think I have it on auto run mode here, so we can just go quick. Ring, ring. Uh, get close to him. <laughs> oh, this guy's the best. Quick, run up to him. <laughs> oh no, it's Edward Norton. <laughs> He's the illusionist. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> nope, no, no, no. Oh, no. I have no we're doing a little dance that. then, aren't we? Oh, where are you going, Edward? I'll follow you. Are we going inside? Oh, you're just going to a, a I have no reason sad to gonna ring around the whole map. Yeah, I miss borders too. Um, hmm. I don't know where we're supposed to go, so I'm just going to walk around. I have no reason to go there. No reason to go there. I got those books that I wanted. Okay. Yeah, you were like, I'm having a bad day. And Watson was Whoa, like, oh, wait up. a minute. This guy's around. <laughs> <laughs> that guy might have stolen our top hat. <laughs> it's like he didn't have enough textures left for him. So he had to be dressed like a little hobo. He's they were not... all out of textures. <laughs> He's wearing everybody else's clothes. Oh, buddy, that doesn't fit you. Oh, man. All right, let's see. That's what happens when you're in the chorus and not a principal, you know? Yeah, you, you don't. Hold the hobo close. Holmes! Holmes! The thing. Yeah. Oh, there's Watson. But, wait, where? Oh, can you raise your to... hand? Watson, can you raise your hand? Watson! <laughs> Every, everyone looks the same in Victorian times. Watson, I need you. Ah, it's good ah! that I found you, Holmes. As I told you this morning, I visited Captain Stenick. Although his symptoms are not serious, the circumstances which caused his palpitations are quite peculiar. Oh, Perhaps you can make something of it. It was a lady in a hat. Here Ooh. is Captain Stenick and Sergeant Rufels. Oh. What do you make of this, Holmes? Oh, oh, oh it's our turn to say something. Uh, wait, that's the same guy in different What do you make clothes. of this, Holmes? <laughs> wait, that's the same guy. <laughs> it's a two different guys right now. <laughs> Same guy. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
something suspicious is going on. This is the mystery I want to crack. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get to the bottom of it, and somebody's going to be impersonating what a haberdashery. <laughs> and he's making ill-fitting hats for the whole community. And points out he's very fashionable in Brooklyn, which is probably true. That's fair. All right, let's talk to these guys. Sorry, I missed what Watson said. He was like, I went into the guy's house, and he's got hot palpitations. Yeah, I for, uh, he was visiting in the in the capacity of a doctor, which I should have realized. And he's like, it's not that big of a deal, but maybe you should check it out. So let's go talk to him. Okay. Let's talk to the police guy first. Whew. Now then, Sergeant, what is it about, and what yeah, elements of the, the guy crime do you have documented? <laughs> Referring to the official report, the following particulars were taken down. A young Maori responding to the name Bayalpa was reported missing by his employer, Mr. Stenick. No one in the surrounding area saw or heard anything Sorry. relevant I to this incident. I maxed out on names in one sentence. In truth, we rarely concern ourselves with cases such as this, but the lad speaks not a single word of English, and according to his employer, has considerable strength. Considering the wild customs of his native land, who knows what damage he could cause. You must know, Mr. Holmes, there have been a few similar cases <laughs> blink, reported blink. recently. The facts are much the same. Immigrants from the poor districts have been reported missing by their families. Hmm. Uh -oh. We expect that some low-class brothel has opened its doors to the local exotics. And, Mr. Holmes, you can imagine how word would spread... Mark my words, with his unique looks and speech, we'll find this He's gonna boy be a in no star. time. I imagine he'll have nothing worse to show than empty pockets and a delighted air. That is a possibility, to be sure. However, I would be I most don't... grateful if you could ask your superiors to send me the reports about those similar cases. I rely on you, Ruffles. I rely on you, Ruffles. Is this what we needed? The wait, that's the cop has the same face as the other cop. Yeah, you're gonna get you have to get used to that one. Is this why we had the knife so we could just go ahead and stab that police officer? <laughs> well, we could try. Oh, we got different. Oh, I wonder if we can zoom to locations this way. Okay, mm. um, where's our uh, items? Here we go. Ha! Suit yourself, oh. Mr. Holmes, but it seems to me you're just wasting valuable time. Trust the instincts of a seasoned policeman. In my professional view of the case, this lad went on a spree and will <laughs> pop up wiser if poorer in pocket. A cap. All cops are polygonal. Um. Okay, what, who's that? Say? That's the guy who owns the house, I think. Captain, I understand from okay. Watson you are quite upset. Any man will be the same, and with less provocation. Oh. My servant has left in the middle. <laughs> Take it Marley! I'm ungrateful of all I have done. What's boy great. doing an old man off, voice? He knows not one Take off your English. hat. Finally, if he causes any damage, I will bear the brunt of people's anger and suffer the consequences, as I am the person who brought him to England. Consequences for a rich How person? How is he in your employment, <laughs> and is he accustomed to vanishing in this manner? We returned from Australia more than Australia. five months ago now. But to his credit, he never left this house before now. He is afraid of the city, as are many inhabitants from open spaces. Could he have stolen something? Upon my word, no. How much money? Lemon, does are he you have also afraid person? of the city coming Lemon, from Australia? Frankly speaking, <laughs> Lemon, how racist is that? Money. You would be able to I tell us. his wages for him, and they are in my safe. In any event, what the deuce would he have a need for money? Who knew that he worked at your home, and Who had he knew? any contacts here in London? Anyone who deals with me professionally knows Baropa <laughs> is my personal servant. As for his contacts, they are limited to the delivery men who bring food or other items to my home. What reason could he have to see anyone other than my? Why house? would someone want a life outside of serving me? <laughs> Watson, yeah, really. Here. I wonder I why he ran away. Lead. Hmm. Why didn't he speak a word of English if he was just coming from Australia? He's Have you from found anything, Mr. the Holmes? bush, it sounds like. Oh! He's a Maori. He's, oh, he's supposed to be like an indigenous Australian mm -hmm. person. So a bunch of people are disappearing uh -oh. around the city. Oh, no. What a peculiar drawing. Oh. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. In the shot that was young, I thought it was going to be scary. Well, it's like it's it's a nice it's nice, but it's an omen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Chakra, Chakra the young Maori Baopa was living. There's a drawing on the soil in Maori style. It depicts which appears to be silhouettes of a human running from a huge wave filled uh -oh. with vague forms that resemble flying aphasia. Okay. Is this where he lived? Because I know why he left. Yeah, it wasn't the best. I mean, look. This is oh, no. You got the whole big house over there. Well, why would anyone want a house <laughs> when they work for me? Oh, okay. Ooh. We're in a close-up view. Is it like... Oh, oh, that's kind of oh. fun. Hmm. This appears to contain some measure of opium. I shall analyze it at base. He's going to save that for analyze later. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what's this do? Oh. oh. Okay, I guess that was it. Okay, we found some opium and a Maori drawing of okay. flying fish, which... Oh, we have footprints here. Oh! So it's not a good police officer that looked around the first time. Oh, I didn't see anything! Oh, footsteps. Jump the wall? Let's see. Look at our, we got our old measuring tape back, Ash. It's oh. like we never left. That's ten. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also okay. hard soled. Okay. Okay, Mr. Stein Scar, footsteps leading away from the wall, size seven. Size in connection with the depth of the impression near the wall suggests a heavy or large man. Okay. The size right. is undoubtedly seven. Now we're in it, the Ryan. Shoes... We're collecting clues. We got things in our pockets. We got a measuring tape. Yeah. Someone's missing, no one cares about, and we're going to right the wrong. We're going to right the wrong, I hope. There's no telling how racist this game is until we play it, so <laughs> I just need to warn everyone about that. That is true. Okay. Was that all we had to do? What is this? What's that? Oh, it's a like a weird back arrow with a tentacle. <laughs> I guess. I guess this is the escape arrow, right? We That's how we leave? Oh, Footsteps. okay, yeah. Let's... And it's got a creepy octopus hand. Right. Okay. Uh, the right what? shoe is missing a nail. Oh, I would not have noticed that. Okay. Uh, a nail's missing on the sole of the right shoe. Okay, that'll be okay. important probably. Oh, there's Footsteps. more. Footsteps. Let's... I'm assuming it's going to let me click... It's going to stop letting me click on it when we found everything? It looks like they're sort of circled, like... I don't know. What do you mean? Not, it, not, in, not in this view, but in the outside view. Oh. They aren't all facing the same direction. Okay, I can look on the outside view. Oh yeah, they are sort of weirdly in place, huh? Yeah, like they paced for a second. Hmm. Maybe there was a ladder you had to get up on. Oh, you know, it's right there. It's so close to the house, you know? Yes, Just there is something here. give him a bedroom. Yes, there is something here. Oh, a grapple? Footsteps. Did he pull himself up? Let's see. Maybe. Did they get into between the two? Ooh, Mario Golf. I actually downloaded that, um, Lemon, but I haven't played it yet. Is it fun? Is it? Here's the thing. I wanted a fun golf game, so I kind of downloaded it right away. And then I was like, oh, it seems like it's going to be like a speed focus thing when I wanted something a little more relaxing. Is there a mode that's like a little more? Not that I want it to go super slow. I just don't want to have to feel like I'm always rushing. You like it? Yeah, it feels like that's not the tone of golf. No, I mean, they're trying to sort of do a new take on golf, I guess. Okay, well, I, I've checked these things again. I think um, I saw an uh, alley we should go down here. There's happen? definitely something up top that I feel like we didn't get. Over here? Mm-hmm. I... Oh. Oh. Flaxen. Yellow in color. Flaxen. You can play regular golf. Oh, okay, good. Does it still show... It. Yeah, what were you supposed to pick up up there? This is... I looked at it. It just says this. Yes, there is something here. It makes me oh, think but it doesn't let you pick it up or anything? It makes me think I have to go around the other side of the wall. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm going to try that regular golf. I'm just sort of smashing the... What do you think? What do you make of this, Holmes? Okay. Sort of smashing the space bar because I feel like it would be hard to figure out what you're able to interact with without doing it, and I feel like that's fine. Yeah. We never said a... that we were the best at these games. 
I never said it, that's for sure. Oh, okay, let's beat this guy up now that he's alone. What are you doing back here? Wait, sorry, hold on. I'm gonna get my knife out. No! If there's anyone we're gonna stab, ah. it's the it's the mean guy, and the, the mean rich guy. Don't be mean to this guy. Ah, oh, you're right. He's got nothing to prove. Okay. This should prove useful. Our, like, no vision is moving that. so quickly, I might have to take a dram of me. I can switch to... point and click. Yes, there is something here. Well, how do I? Oh, wait, do I have to go to my uh, inventory? Okay. I have no reason to go there. Can you light it on fire? Aha! Oh, was... did you, were you carrying around a ladder this whole time? There was a ladder that was sitting over here. I just picked it up. Oh. Okay. Ah. In Mr. Steinwick's garden on top of the wall, I found some plant fibers. Okay. Fibers. Why are they here? Hmm. It will be necessary for me to examine this more closely at Baker Street. Okay. That's cool. And bent huh? bars. I have no reason to go there. Yeah, so I guess he went over the wall, right? Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. weird because it seems like the front door was right over here. Maybe um, he's locked in at night. I wouldn't put it past this guy. That's terrifying. Mm, or okay. we found some fibers. Maybe he was like pushing something over. Mm, like a bag? To an, to an accomplice, yeah. Okay. Uh, should we look at the look at our chemical table? I don't table? have enough information. Oh. Lemon, how would you describe this further. dream in golf terms? Are I we birdies no or bars? Also, I, I don't no know what either of those things there. mean, so I'm going to assume either is a compliment. I believe a par is when you shoot exactly the recommended number of, of shots to get to the hole. Mm -hmm. So if it's a five par and you do five, you made par. And a birdie is when you shoot two under par? Something like that? Maybe it's one under par? What is it if I you shoot no for the stars? Birdie's at least one under. Okay. Uh, well, if you shoot for the stars, A, you might hit Venus? Mm -hmm. I have no reason to go there. No reason to go there. Um, okay. I'd say that the recommended view, like the recommended playing of this game is like five hour section. So I think we're right on par. <laughs> okay, looks like I can, I can zoom around, which is cool. Um, okay, what else? Uh, I must have missed something back at the residence, right? Space golf. Would you like a movie that is Space Jam, but for golf? Yes, all my favorite stars. Tiger Woods. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have uh, you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Should I show my phone? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? I don't like him already, so I hope we get to bring him to justice. Yeah. I don't know what he did wrong yet, but we're going to figure it out. Uh, it feels right. Suit yourself, did. Mr. Holmes, but it seems to me... You're... Consider yourself, you Mr. Anything? Holmes. Consider yourself. What do you make of this, Holmes? All right, everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I Ooh, just found some fruit this fruit. wonderful feeling. Everybody's... Oh, you know, oh. it's a hard life for Holmes. The lock was everybody's not Everybody's always like... What do you think, Mr. Holmes? What did you cracked. find, Mr. Holmes? What are you going to do, Mr. Holmes? It's like, who's saying, how are you, Mr. Holmes? The lock was yeah. not cracked. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> can you, do you want a second, Mr. Holmes? Yeah, what Could can you, I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Do you want to come in and sit down, Mr. Holmes? Ask not what Mr. Holmes can do for you. <laughs> Ask what you can do for, for Mr. Sense. Sherlock Holmes. Let's see. Can I hold that ladder you've been carrying, Mr. Holmes? You know, these things would be nice. Hmm, how strange. This appears to be a fish scale. I shall have to examine this more thoroughly under the microscope. I found a fish scale. Okay. Aha, okay. So it looks like the hand icon does disappear when you found everything. So that's, now I'll know. Oh, so, the, oh, so, okay. Now we're done with that piece of something. Although this the lock was not cracked. That is a game changer for our productivity. Mm -hmm. If we know that it disappears every time. Because exactly 100% of the time we're like done with this room and there's always something there we didn't need. We exactly. needed to look at. 
Come, Watson, we must return to Baker Street. What do you make of this, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> All right. Mr. Stenick, the long pause I before he responds is like... Your servant simply left your employment voluntarily <laughs> for the service of a more honest man. Unfortunately, yes. I don't have that pleasure. In More truth, the news is grim indeed. Your servant was seen in the company of two men yesterday. No comment. One of the two is a man of moderate size, <laughs> very robust, and reaction? a mature age. His profession, which will be the key element in our investigation I of this, this affair, is a different will be determined actor. by me within few hours. I think it's the, the other same. is a young Hindi who you is tall so? and only recently arrived in so. England. There is a darker side to these events. Your man was not with them by choice. Rather, the evidence shows he was kidnapped. Huh. At this moment, the reasons behind this villainous act are Ow. unknown. And but he rest over assured, the, side of the, the wall? truth will not elude me for long. Gentlemen, I wish you a good day. Come, Watson, we must hurry. There's a great deal to do and little enough I time to spare. It. Holmes, I must. I assume you guys would tell me if the you did not is bad, spare right? my time, Captain Stenick. This seems unusually harsh. That may be, Watson, but now what matters more is to know the reasons behind the kidnapping of this young Aboriginal yesterday evening in central London, and exactly. more importantly, what has become of him. Holmes. I must concentrate I felt... on a small experiment. Watson was definitely a younger man last year. He's aged a lot in these last couple of years. And ask him if he has something on I the Maori nation and its traditions. I think they're trying to differentiate his head shape from Holmes' head shape, which also, I do appreciate. Yeah. You should happen to see the newsboy outside. Find out what this he knows. This looks like an up upgraded value, version of the way Holmes looked coin. in this game. And for yeah. God's sake, don't be a miser, Watson. Don't be a miser. A miser? You cost me one of my patients, and you question my level of generosity with your informers? Oh, really, really Holmes. Holmes? Sometimes you go too far. Oh. Hmm. Why did he cost him a patient? Because that guy doesn't want to have him as a doctor since Holmes was like, you're a bad guy? Maybe so. I guess he, like, ruined his reputation by being like, no one likes working for you. I'd run away, too. Even if I was kidnapped, it'd be good. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, they remastered his head. <laughs> now it can't be used for anything. No, it can't be used for anything. <laughs> now it can't well, be used for anything. Okay. Nothing. Nothing here. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. God, I Nothing. hate myself. But you have matches, right? Can you light something on fire? Look, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> How about this? I shall have what to did you put in there? Is it the, the fish scale? It's the lump. Here we go. Oh. Little, little, little. I don't know what I'm doing. Little, little, little. Also, the, the size of that lump versus your instruments is incredibly ridiculous. I'm doing science right now, and you're acting <laughs> the fool. Oh! Look what I found. You got your I lump found. open. Oh God! <laughs> is it is it a turd? Oh no! The meatball ignited but failed to burn completely. There are, without a doubt, mustard seeds present, probably in exotic form. What could be the other components? I wonder. The meatball ignited <laughs> but failed to burn completely. Right this way, right back to the secret agent spy ring. That's the only reason anyone would say that phrase ever. Let's just look at our documents really quick. I just want to check something here. Bup, 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 and you bup. can control find meatball. <laughs> oh, sadly, I can't. I look like I can't find my own internal monologue in here. Oh. The meatball ignited, but failed <laughs> to burn completely. Now it can't be used for anything. All right, they found mustard seeds in there. But it had mustard seeds inside. I'll leave you to tend to your appearance. Here's the compounds from the Maori lump. Nothing. Nothing there. Let's ah. Was it like mustard gas bomb or something? My chemicals and apparatus. I like that theory. We like this thing. Like what are the little thing? jars you have? Now it can't be used for anything. Um. Okay. I've got solvent, spirit of alcohol, acid, and water. Mm -hmm. Try water. Now it can't be used is. for anything. I think that a, a plate goes there and now it heats up. Now it can't up. be used for anything. Hmm. Nothing. All right, well, let's look at the fish scales. How about? Oh. No, oh, that's a fish scale, all right. 
According to this monograph, the fish scale appears to be from a perch, a saltwater fish with high commercial... Oh, because we went to the library and got that book. Good thinking, we wouldn't have known. Okay. Found a perch scale. Okay. The diagram that the guy drew had fish in it. Which guy? Uh, our, our perch in Australia, oh. Lemon? <laughs> yeah, probably, right? Hmm, very interesting. But stupid. Oh, you don't have any tools here. No. Maybe that you have to put acid on or something. What's that? Piece of fiber from the fence, I think? Hmm. Well, then what was the other thing? Uh, there was another piece of cloth we found somewhere else. Okay. I forget where. Oh, the top of the door? Mm, yes. Um, okay. Now, I did look at the manual, and it said there's a special icon with gears that appears when you can combine things, so that's good to Okay. Know. I don't know if you can do it in the end of the door. Oh! Look, there it is. Little gears. Okay. Oh, I guess I can try this on everything now. Okay, well, that wasn't it. Do I have to drag it? Oh, I do have to drag it. Interesting. Huh. Okay, that's a little bit... Once again, dragging nearly uh, completely <laughs> ruins us. You've water, solvent, and acid. Now it can't be used for anything. All right, well, I've got these mustard seeds over here. Can I take them back? Now it can't be used for anything. Okay, we gotta do something with this, right? Yeah. Water. Now it can't be used for anything. If I put water in this. Now it can't be used for anything. Any scientists in the chat? Now it can't oh. be used for anything. <laughs> Spirit? Now it can't be used for anything. Acid? Hey! Perhaps if I apply heat... Now you destroyed the evidence. You wasted Perhaps the whole you, game. if you apply heat. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh... Good? Is this a... Just like we wanted. <laughs> Is that oh, it? And we've activated oh. Saturn. Everybody run! <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the machine that they invented in the last game that that crazy scientist had in his study. Yeah, that's right. Orrery? Incredible. I, I note a strong presence of opium blended with a concentrate of morphine. The remaining elements mm. are a mystery to me. Small lump found in the Maori shack, and it also indicates if it contains opium blended with a strong distillate of morphine. I was unable to know as rain comes out. Okay. Okay. Oh, an Orrery's thing with Okay. Um, now it can't be used for anything. Okay, what have I not uh, examined here? So I think it's just this uh, fiber. It feels now like it, it should be. It can't be used for anything. It should be. It can't be used for anything now. Yes, it can't be used for anything right now. Maybe later. Yeah. Yeah. Or now it can't be used for anything. I mean, I was literally having this exact <laughs> situation working with voice actors this week, where I was like, "Let me explain the context. Otherwise, you won't have any way of knowing how to say yeah. this." You don't know. Now it can't be used for anything. No, no, no. You're saying that <laughs> they might be used for something later. Oh, well, yeah. now it can't be used for anything. Yeah. This is my impression of my day. And when did you bring... Are clearly hemp. When now, did you bring in the, the newspaper boy to do his voiceover? No, it can't be used for anything. <laughs> it's too good. We can't afford him. Pulitzer and Hearst, they think they got us. <laughs> do they got us? I see. That what you say is nothing. what I say. <laughs> Bullets are in our chain reaction. They think we're nothing. Chemicals and are we nothing? We could do this whole movie. Mm -hmm. So watch out, chat. I lost track of the things we're putting in the things and burning. I just keep clicking things until something happens. Okay, great. Are you Maybe. there? <laughs> Would you swear you won't forget me? San Tufe! I like the I like the phonetic <laughs> spelling of that, Laura. Won't forget me. 
<laughs> if I found you, would you let me come and stay? Water. And given the absence of any salt particulates, it must be fresh water. Fibers found on the wall in Stenwick's garden and his hemp, likely from rope. They were stained with traces of a black substance, undoubtedly coal soot mixed with water. The water is fresh, as I found no presence of saline. So, some wet guy threw a rope over that <laughs> fence. <laughs> And back to you, coppers. <laughs> I should look from the window and Instead see where Watson is. Said it would be a waste of time. Watson, get in here. <laughs> oh, are we Watson now? Yeah. We're Watson. How does it feel? How does it feel? Do you feel like you've been in the war? Yeah, I do. What are you this? burdened by the responsibility of a medical man? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Is he going to say he can't go over here? I have no interest in going there. I just wanted to hear him say it. I like this voice actor a lot. I, for some reason, feel like he really embodies Watson. Me too. He's going to be really mean to this kid, I bet. Or, uh, <laughs> that's my cigar. There's for the first time, laugh. I got real money How in my pockets. Hello, that's what I think of the most. My associate, Sherlock Holmes, said you might have information for him about about uh, now what sexual was it? i mean <laughs> the princess gav he was looking for the scuttlebutt on this here princess what we visiting exciting goings on this her is a good kid he's a good kid she's just a here. good kid nice job he's to look after a princess's body in it sir they say he went out on a town having a go with the ladies if you get my meaning like as not, he was trapped by I'm some seven years tuffs. old. <laughs> Otherwise, who'd get the best of him? A proper giant he was by all accounts. Do I get me coins then, sir? Oh, thank you, sir. Obliged, I'm sure. <laughs> the strand, the strand, boy, the strand. It's just not very good. <laughs> He knows he's going to get a sale. Ryan, the thing you don't get is that he's not really even a newsboy. He's one of Sherlock's little, what are they called? The unfortunates the or something? Yeah, the the regulars. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. And so he's just playing a newsboy. So he didn't get like the newsboy school, you know? He doesn't know how to sell papes. Wasn't the unfortunate. Good morning. Wasn't that Sylvester Stallone's movie, The Unfortunate? <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Watson. Uh, Laura, don't go from one hit to another. What one Mencken to another. Would you happen oh, to have I'm a book on the map? So. <laughs> if I have one available, it would be one on that to another shelf. is the evening Although Ryan's working on, sure where he just does a solo show of Alan Mencken's work. Please don't trouble yourself. <laughs> and I, I can't wait. It. If you want to crush the prism, my dear, you have to pay the toll. <laughs> Starts with Skid Row. Um, what did we learn from him? He's like, uh, I think I he wasn't was, paying attention. I think he was like, Holmes forgot a book. Oh, he wants to find a book on the Maoris. Okay. Okay, which we just picked up. So, okay. It's important to realize that the Maoris create peculiar pictorial writings in the soil in order to express much more than simple artistic emotions. First, right. one must recognize Metaphors. that dreams are the center of the Maori spiritual basis. Okay. According to ancient tribal dogma, all men live in a vast universal dream world, and our individual dreams represent our communion with invisible sacred spirits, which okay. are all around us. No Ma sillier than anything else. No. When a Maori has a particularly notable dream, which, prof which with prophetic or moral value, he draws important moments of his dream in a symbolic fashion on the soil. Okay, so our Maori friend had a, had a prophetic dream, it sounds like. Uh-huh, and it was about him out chasing a wave. Mm-hmm. And there were birds. No, dare I say fish. <laughs> dare I? <laughs> Good day. Mankin, two Mankin. Right, and then there's two Mank, two mankin -ness. Three Mankin, three Furious? Yes. Hey, I'm going to go see Black Widow in 4DX tomorrow. Ah! Hmm. Mm, mm, do you have mm, to go really far out of your way to do the 40x or is it pretty close it's like a 30 minute bus right it's not bad at all um okay, no. this theater didn't as far as i know didn't used to be have, have it but now it does i'm very excited because i've never done a 40x movie and i've also been hankering for a new marvel movie yeah i'm so excited for you to do the 40x experience has Me anyone too. in the chat done 40x because it's very fun i saw the meg that way 
And I saw something else that way, where like the seats rumble and they spray water at you, and there's like a fan. Oh, bullet holes. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've never been. Oh, it's like a, it's like all Shrek 3D in my own hometown. To put him in it's like a bug's life. It's Not like now, that. Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant, it must Not wait. Now, we are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of Sherlock, employment like, for one of the villains spend an who abducted hour doing the science, young man. Like, oh, we read a page what in a book. London would such a man call home? Oh, Honey, I Shrink the Audience is great. Oh. Oh, is this a quiz? Hold on, I need to make your screen big. Oh, ho, I'm typing. Oh, game changer. Type in Mervo and see if it works. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> yeah, Emmy, uh, great, great, okay. great, great, great. So that's probably it. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Oh, have we, though? Okay, okay, okay. What part of London is one of the two kidnappers of the young Maori come? All right. I think we're probably going to be a clue about the coal, right? Oh, wait. So we got the last one wrong. We don't get to answer it again. No, this is the first one again. No, that was like, where will somebody reside? What part of London is? Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah I guess same one. Is. So what? What? Oh, I was thinking that it was going to relate to the what? coal we found. What? Three. Two. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Or the fish scale. India. Da, da, da. Or the fact that it's wet, but it's salt water, or not salt water, so maybe it's the Thames. Okay, so this was the Is guy. Is he a dock worker? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is kind of tiring, the 40X karma. You're right, because you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you really like have to hold on to your seat. It depends on the movie, I guess. What did I you mean... see in 40X karma? Hmm. Where's our uh, fish report? Titanic and 40X would be amazing. You'd get a lot of water God, you would thrown at you by the end. Drowning. <laughs> I'm looking for our fish book that tells us where fish are from. I can't find it. It reports documents? Oh, a little hint area. Okay. Well, I don't need a hint right now. Sorry, have you hit reports and I keep missing? I keep forgetting yeah, what it is. So these are like oh, that's the conversation sort of. No, these are like the clue reports, like hemp rope. Oh. What do you sample? There's the fish scale, and it says, "Oh, it's from a perch." But didn't we have a book that says where perch came from? Yeah, or we checked it out in the library. Is it in our pocket instead of? No. Oh, is there nothing in our pocket all of a sudden? Yeah. Although I guess we're Watson we still... now. Maybe all that stuff is in Holmes' pocket. Oh, hmm. Did we have any news about fish here? Um, oh, return from India. I wonder if Bart's involved. We know this guy's from India. Jellyfish. Burglars. Hmm. I feel like it's going to be as simple as the Thames. Because it's a place in London. Yeah. So where else is a fish in London? Yeah, but you can't be from the Thames River. But part of London is one of the two kidnappers of the young man. Hmm. You're looking for like a neighborhood? I would assume. But do you expect a fish to be found in a certain neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, the neighborhood near the Thames, you know? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Hmm. 
Don't be a miser, Watson. Hmm. Okay, uh... I don't think this is it. So we know one of them is fr is is like kind of like has a dock working aspect, wet fish rope, right? And one of them is Indian uh because he said it's a tall man and like the thing we found is part of a turban. Um, oh, I missed that part. Okay, great. I missed it at first too, but then I reread this stuff. Um Okay, it's fresh water. Oh, maybe we should look at the map. Oh, oh it's going to be like kidnappers here. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is the Thames fresh water? I guess it probably would be. I don't know. I assumed a river would be. And this this guy who the cloth is from said he's not from England at all. He's from India. Perch or saltwater fish. Interesting. A reporter on the street and has confirmed the tin Thames is freshwater. Okay. But you said that fish was saltwater. Purchase saltwater. But the rope stuff, the coal on the rope was freshwater. Whatever that means. What's the question again? What from what part of London does one of the two kidnappers of the young Maori come? This is so weird because, like, does it want a neighborhood? Does it want, like, Your north, south, east, good, west? Dear Watson, but you have missed everything. Yeah, I don't know. Try Thames and see what happens. Yes, Watson. Well, you're there right. There's room for doubt. Our man <laughs> is a barge man who works at the Thames River Wharf. Okay. He is more I precisely doubted you. I'm sorry. To well, we knew it. We just didn't know what to brought put in. in. By various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. Okay, Ashley. Once again, <laughs> I'm arguing about everything, and you are on point. I think that he was like, yes, he is a barge man. He's by the wharfs. He has an ocean all day. He is with the fish. He has ropes. The sea is his first love. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Brandy, you're a fine girl. A good wife you would be. But my life, my love, and my lady is the Thames River. Get in the car. <laughs> oh, doesn't that, is that picture behind him also, Watson? Because it looks I like hope. him. <laughs> I love this little this little picture it of Watson by his great. Watson. He's proud of his. Uh, he's doing this is like a selfie angle on Watson. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. He's like, oh, new. Oh, look, I, I just no redid the mantle. I redid the mantle. Nothing new in here, I assume. Okay. Okay, we got to get in that cab and go to the town. We got to get in the cab. Get your hat. Don't worry, it'll pop on. Here, let's see it. Yeah, hat pop. There it his is. His front door, his front door opens out. How bizarre! That is weird. Now that you say it. <laughs> Wait, did, let's see. Does it open the same way if I go in? No, it just it's on uh, a it's on it's a, a hinge. Swinging, it's a swinging door. Yeah, not super secure. <laughs> I'm leaving I it open. I don't hat. care. Watson, close like it on a, your way out. It's like a sitcom. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Have a good day. <laughs> Orphan number 13. Let's go. Away we go. Why did we come here, Holmes? <laughs> Laura, he's going to drop those pies. <sighs> it's rather sinister <laughs> here and so cold. It's like Precisely some kind of Cthulhu's here. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, oh, it's called Holmes. Pub. Hmm. These are really Can you old. look at that trash? Hmm? Can you look at the trash? What? On stage? <laughs> you look like trash, is what I said. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a little secret area over here. Spooky. What is this, the council? Yeah. Oh, look at this.
These are so old. Really? Are they hard? Mm, they're like, yeah, they're almost like Ooh. powdery. Oh no, Ryan. It's weird. Well, what you're the you only one that things? shops at that bodega, so when you were gone for a week, everything just went bad. It's true. I'm. It's other people shop there. I'm just the one who like is the primary candy buyer. Yeah. You're the you're the business decision center. That's what they call. Me. But where are you off to, Holmes? I'm gonna do my own investigation, Watson. <laughs> General just strike. go to the pub. Oh, there's oh. a strike, Ryan. I bet that's why no one's here. Oh, yeah. Quick, steal that wagon! Watson, get in! <laughs> Wee! Chicks and ducks and geese. He's better scurry. Scurry. When oh, I chick. take you out oh, in a surrey. When I take you out in a surrey <laughs> with the Holmes and Watson. <laughs> Oh, it's more romantic to put in their name. Hmm. That's not open. Hmm. Just enjoying a nice soda while I <laughs> everyone waits for me. Okay. Hello. Oh, best mustache Good of the show. You, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? Oh. My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend We're and looking I for are local looking for a crime. man who works for one of the <laughs> fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes the me, but I do down. know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. I don't believe what these two dudes the are looking for their friend, the guy that yeah, works on the dock. That's <laughs> clearly size, a cover. So Aren't you Sherlock help Holmes? There. <laughs> You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Cricket, here, though. Now, Look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Oh, okay. He's an anchor. By oh. the way, I am in your debt. Please tell what me about this guy clearly said, hiding from what us. troubles your friend. Yeah. He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was Aww. to be here yesterday, but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. Oh, buddy, you don't come in the oh, mail. Sir, last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hand. <laughs> That's not a relatable worries. story, but it's a good one. <laughs> and then a well, big old bear took my picnic basket. Again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. Did you take I the hook off the when you head. sleep, buddy? <laughs> Lord, I was unable to so much as sit for three yeah, weeks. Feels like you, just... um... if you took it off, you could just use a stump to... <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Well, no have comment nice on that. <laughs> but have a great day. I'm Sherlock Holmes. That was such an oddly specific sad man. <laughs> what do you think of that, asshole? You're a doctor. You should help him. You are a doctor. It's like, it's like he's a drone. <laughs> I know, he does. <laughs> well, if I, this is a regular walk mode, which I guess is a little bit more. But I have, I have run mode on. <laughs> yeah, I yes. mean, honestly, I would, I would jump at the chance. Excuse me, sir, could you? Now, how oh, willing are you to be mind. sued? Very. Did you find old man Harper? That's the no! only reason I'm here. I have no reason to go there. Oh, I thought I was leaving. Oh, is this the door? Can you go upstairs? What's this? What's this area? Oh wait, there are, there's a little hand. I'm guy. sorry, gentlemen. This is private property. There's no entry here. Is that the fish dog game? Yeah. I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private Supposed property. Supposed to do this? There's no entry here. But it won't let you. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Do you have something in your pocket this you can use? Oh, Set no the curtains here. on fire. Uh, yeah. Oh, the knife. <laughs> I'm sorry, gentlemen. This is private prop. How is mm. how is a weird curtain room in this guy's bar private property? We can't yeah. enter. Maybe that's where like the sexy ladies are. Oh, get your mind out I of the gutter, no Ryan. What? I just first of all, I'm sex positive. <laughs> um. Okay. Where's this okay, anchor? the house with the anchor. After the warehouses. 
Yeah, I imagine it's over this way, right? Right. <laughs> Did I tell you my joke about the fog? It's, hey, it sure is London. The fog in the morning, fog in the... Sure is London, fog in the morning. <laughs> Started over. Fog in the afternoon. And look at the weather. Calls for fog at night. <laughs> Did I tell you that one? Yeah, I've heard. I think someone else told me it. That's the way I say it. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> Honestly, you're not selling it <laughs> like Watson does. Closed tight. Closed. Oh. Closed. Oh, this is it. No Anchor house. Oh, break in. Make oh, a break there's for it. someone there. There is someone there. Uh, Sherlock, I don't think your powers of deduction are really on tip-top shape. Nope. Nobody here at all. <laughs> no one is here. No one is here. Hmm. Oh, can you peek into a window? I'm trying to. Already so much more of this world is more explorable, explorable than the last time we played. Yeah. Oh, it's not closed anymore. It's not locked now that I did the other thing. Oh. What are you, what's your deal over here, lady? Excuse me for disturbing you, Excuse but I'm looking for a man me. named Mr. Harper. Do you you can't him? just barge into he someone's house and be like, you. sorry to disturb you. I crying. broke in. I'm a robber. Bolt. Bolt. Sorry to disturb you. I'd like your jewels. I know this accent. <laughs> These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Oh, as luck would have it. Don't attempt it, Holmes. Are you sure? Aho Nitra. Shigong said Nitra. Nepalese. You get it, right? Nepalese. This woman says her family has suffered a great misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. She didn't say all of that. Could he run away to sea or some other youthful adventure? Il Koga Bratse. Nepalese. But Prithindra Kum. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries I'm just guessing that's about not her Nepalese. son and their family. Yeah, The man Let's worked see. at the docks and had a silver eye. Yes, exactly. He was a yes. vile man with one silver eye. Yes, a man with one eye. It was Sundra silver. Broke at Hado. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. I'm throwing these away. She says we may away. examine them and oh, take anything so that might sad. help find yeah. her son. But what does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Remember how they said immigrants were disappearing, Watson? That's what it has to do with it. My hands are sticky and gross. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, no. And another thing. The major languages of Nepal. Oh. Uh, according to a 2011 census, are Nepali, 44%, uh, Myphili, 11%, I apologize, I'm sure I'm probably pronouncing all of these wrong, uh, Bahopori, 6%, Tharu, 5%, Tamang, 5%, and so on and so forth. Wow, a lot of languages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 languages. And none of them are called Nepalese? Nope. Okay. <sighs> well then. Petro, Hidoka. Yeah, I was thinking that too. This is not Nepali. <laughs> it looks like silver, but. Oh, Nepali's right, though. Way, he said, he said it right fair. that time. Now it's referring to, like, of the people, I think, rather than the language. Oh, well, this says uh, that's what the language is called. I just took a medallion off this person's prayer altar. I'm like, ah, oh, this doesn't look too cool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's inside? What do you make of this, Buddy, Holmes? you can't just you steal can't things just... from her drawer. Can't talk to this guy. Does he have a dumb to make? No. I ate some Sour Patch kids that were <laughs> oh, bad. Buddy, are you the... looking for your wooden hand? Where's my... I stole a man's wooden <laughs> hand from the mail. No. He didn't know any better. Ding, ding, He's just a kid. <laughs> He's just a kid. He's a boy. Okay, I guess. I feel like a medallion. 
No one is here. About now. No one is here. Hmm. So we didn't resolve that little boy's problem? He didn't want to talk to us. Well, maybe we should give him the medallion. See what that what that does. No? Do you want Hey, I have a present for you. I stole it from your mom earlier. <laughs> Bet your mom never let you play with this, huh? <laughs> I'm kind of the cool uncle. <laughs> hey, you want to join my unfortunates? <laughs> oh, no. You're right, Laura. Uh, maybe we should go back to that bar and tell them about how it went. I want to see what's over here for... Oops. <laughs> Sorry, this is my cameo. <laughs> Why did you choose this way to play? Oh, oh, oh. That was a wet sound. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't sit in it. Oh, mm. oh buddy. Is he a time traveling American soldier? <laughs> he looks a like a war? Union soldier. Civil War? The Union War, the Ryan Union calls war. it. Uh, the War of Northern Aggression. <laughs> You can talk to him, but I don't know what he's going to say. Uh, oh! Watson, it appears this young man is ill. Be a good well, man well and spotted. see how serious it is. Here now, my young man. Let's have a look at you. Oh, this is how he starts oh, every this, this uh, doctor's appointment. He's Let's have a look at you. He Take off your pants. Of oh. I think he's drunk, but I got to see his oh. penis anyway. Oh. Oh. It's not my fault. Oh. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, hop? This <laughs> gang of young toughs. They forced it on me. He's a trumpeter? Uh, the and then on top of by it, the they stole my parcel. <laughs> What's that? You say you were forced to drink. Explain this and spare no details. Of fraternity. <laughs> this guy is Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I was given a parcel. They to forced me to do the vampire the movies. Not far oh. from here. I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of. Hey, make sure to watch uh, Tracers me. with Jacob uh, with Taylor Lautner. Before I could <laughs> think. If you haven't already. They yeah, make sure winner. to do that. And gave me a bottle, uh, telling me if I valued my life. I better drink it all. Well, let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy. He stuck and his elephant strong. Must have passed out. <laughs> I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. Oh, he's a, a, a courier. No, that's just what he it's calls obvious, Watson. parcel. They were seeking some poor <laughs> oh, and came to test their vile concoction. Tell me, could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. Um... It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm. It has a unique flavor. Don't drink Rather it. Tasty, I might Are we add. looking? Yeah, There's is he no holding a bottle? Maybe we pick this up. contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But where are you off to, Holmes? <laughs> Watson, this scene it is accidentally to started without the camera in position. Group. If they are located in this oh, district, oh. they may have <laughs> much to tell us. Hmm. Okay. Oh, is that part done now? Oh, <laughs> oh my aching head. I feel terrible. Watson, hey, Watson, drink this. It'll be hey, funny. Hey. But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If Watson, they are located it's time in this to district, find they a may have much to tell us. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I commit suicide, Jump in. Whee! So he was like, oh, I know. They were testing their concoction. Who Who's testing what concoction? They... Uh, he said maybe there are distillers, like a, people making a new liquor possibly, but I don't think that's what it really is, right? No. Some, some sort of street toughs did this. I don't think it's good business to be like, we want to test our new product here. Just go knife a guy and make him drink a whole <laughs> bottle and see if he that. likes it. There's not a lot that will stand up to that. <laughs> see if he'll give us five stars. <laughs> 
You're not going to get a lot of uh, thumbs up would do again. <laughs> not no a lot of what. repeat customers. Yeah. It's not great. Well, it's, you know what, but you, but you remember it, don't you? <laughs> so it's great. Marketing. Oh no, don't fall in the well. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Played a game of liar's dice, but um, okay. I think I got turned around here. We okay. This is where we were, right? This guy that way. Can we go back to that house and be like, "Hey, do you want some of this weird, mysterious thing in a bottle? Is that what the kid needs?" Yeah, maybe they. Uh, maybe we do go back to that guy, and we're like, "Hey, you're a bartender. What's this?" Mm -hmm. And he looks at it and he's like, "Oh." <laughs> Yeah, here's the ship again. Okay, maybe we do have to go backwards. Hello to you again, sir. Mm. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing <laughs> eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God. Seaman full of silver balls! Dirty summers. <laughs> a nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship, because he was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. Oh. During oh. his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. Uh -oh. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Certainly, if it will help. We have to look for semen on this table, Watson. <laughs> I often go into bars wearing a top hat asking for elusive semen. And the bartender does not point me in the right direction either. It's really... <laughs> it only works in the movies, as they say. <laughs> okay. These cuts seem quite recent. There are These four cuts. symbols. Okay, we've got some more. We've got some more ancient runes to solve. So maybe he wasn't nervous. Maybe his knife is out so he can make the cuts. Oh, yeah. Jay Simon was here. What does that say? Jay Simon. Oh, I guess you're right. I thought it said Jay Beam. Jay Beans. Hmm. Yeah, why does this bar have a VIP section on? You're right. That's my private table. Not this area. I have no reason to go there. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Mm, so there's something else we need to find in that back room. Well, let's see what let's leave. Um. Hmm. Oh, maybe Watson. I think Watson like tells us what we should be doing. But where are you off to, Holmes? No, he doesn't. Watson, it is time oh. to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located mm -hmm. in this district, they may have much to tell us. Is there a place we can okay. use those symbols, you think? I got code on a Maybe. Door. Wish this game had some music. I, I really so shouldn't funny because, say that because the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every other game we've ever played, you were want to get the music out of there. That's right. Didn't it start with music? Didn't the first cutscene have music? There's been music, but it it doesn't play a ton during the actual gameplay. It's like the cutscenes have it. I don't mind it. I should save our game. Um, Why just getting that, getting that sweet, sweet music? Yeah, okay, music volumes up and everything. So, okay, I've lost the thread of this a bit. So, yeah, a little bit, who, me too. Who was in the back room and trying to employ people? I think we were like, have you seen anybody who was giving out this liquor? He was kind of a weirdo. And he's like, oh, somebody was in here like that. He paid me extra to like keep quiet about it. And so uh -huh. then we went back there and we saw that there was um, 
no one is symbols. here. Symbols. Symbols. And now I think we have to figure out where to use that. There's probably no more to here. it that I'm not. And now we're looking for it. We're looking for the distillery now. I think we're looking for the distillery. Petra, um, right. And what's her deal? Is she, what, her, some, some of her family is missing? Yeah. Uh, well, some, her son or somebody from a family is missing. And we think it's related because there's been a lot of immigrants yeah. who were kidnapped. Oh, this old rope seems intact. No trace of soot present. Okay. He's stolen anyway. No one is here. Yeah, uh, we think her story think is related, part of like right. a ring of kidnappings. Right, 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 right. It feels like oh. I should be able to pick this up, right? Yeah. I don't seem to be able to. What is it? What's written on it? Registers. Hmm. Well, that's how we could find the distillery, right? If they were like importing and exporting, because we're in the customs office. Maybe we don't know we need it yet. Feels like the customs guy shouldn't just leave his important register lying out overnight. Ah, uh, you know, people are honest on the wharf. Oh, my <laughs> IK head. All right. Yeah, we oh, got it. I feel terrible. Oh. We got it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just the paper boy. <laughs> um. Oh. Hmm. There's more we're supposed to do over here somewhere. Can you see on the map a distillery? I assume not. Uh, no. I can go to. I can go back to the pub or to that uh, house of the Nepalese woman. Closed. It is. I don't. It feels like those symbols aren't going to lead us to a distillery. It feels like we're going to use those later. So how else would we get to a distillery? How else would we know what a distillery is? Maybe I just missed a door or a window somewhere here. This looks like we should be able to get in there, but it's just decorative. Like jump up on these barrels, maybe. This is a dead end, right? But where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may Apparently have just much to tell us. looking for the distillers, us. so there may be just people somewhere, too. Uh -huh. Um, but... Okay, well, let's keep looking. Do you want me to do my own music for it? Yes. More mournful. Oh, good. Kick back in. I was like, that's kind of short. Let's call this. Musical suspense. Oh, and now. Arpeggios, I think. You let us right to it. <laughs> well done. I am missing something. <laughs> so, what about it? I am missing something. <laughs> so weird. It just lets us open the door a crack, and the guy's like, What about it? So, what about it? It's all right. It's all right. I am missing something. 
You need something to show him? Yeah, probably. So? I assume the, here we this go. is I a special the recipe? That depends on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. Should wait till he asks it. Unfortunately, first. this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste, but I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, look at these two. Oh, he gave it to us, I guess. Oh, well, that was easy. So, so what about it? I am missing No one gets to see the wizard. Well, that's a horse of a different color. So what did they want with that parcel if they just so quickly oh! gave it back? <laughs> there is a human Oh, hand. no. Oh, it says fake it's, hand. It's the wooden hand for our friend in the bar. You're right. Well, you're you're going to make his night. Oh, my God. He is going to You got to go back there out. right away. You're my best friend now. <laughs> What if he that's like a hack and we solved it and he's gonna be like, oh, I know who's the kidnapper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All you, you have to, to do is bestow Excuse kindness me, on Could an you... old man. I no mind to <laughs> bestow the kindness. <laughs> the real mystery is human nature. Oh, Ash, you wanna become famous? Yes! Finally. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Slaps him with it. It doesn't even have a hook on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, get that scratch on. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. Oh, yeah, he's going to be like, I'm actually the mayor or something like, like that. That's right. Lord love you. The scrapers are uh, what it is. Well, come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. He's Gus the theater cat. I was bird on Sesame Street till they fired me. <laughs> Inappropriate puppet relations, they say. <laughs> oh, no. You created a this dark backstory for him. Was it glowing green or no, is that just I me? I have nothing to say to him. I've got nothing to say <laughs> to him. Closed. That conversation is closed. Aha, rope with hook. I knew it. I knew. I know my adventure games. You pick up a hook, you pick up a rope, you're going to make a rope with hook. <laughs> it's a grappling hook. Grappling hook. I don't know. Would you like a grappling ah, hook? You just lasso Have him. Have you found anything of importance, sir? You're my boyfriend now. <laughs> All right. I have no reason to go there. Um, well, let's see. Where should I go back to? <laughs> Laura's doing a whole riff about the creepy, <laughs> the creepy man in his hand in the puppet. You gotta, you gotta work your way in there. <laughs> Sir, please. Oh, maybe now, yeah. Maybe now you can look at it. Look at what? The customs book. No one is here. Oh, yeah, I did try it. <laughs> I worked. <laughs> See, now the chat's not going on the screen, so no one, this is just for us. Mm hmm. Hmm. Do we have to go back to that? Warehouse area? What is, what's, oh, Watson's gotta say. What, Watson? Watson is just I'm barely Watson? keeping up with us. <laughs> what do you make of this, Holmes? Hmm, okay. Oh god, is that true, Anne? I think, how many Muppets have been destroyed mm. by last minute puppet replacements? Gonna stretch that puppet out. You give, you know, Eric Jacobson gives Bert to Dave Goals for one scene because he's got to go do, you know, animal. Never the same. Well, Dave Goals is a professional. I'm sure he has a light touch. People come for that. Be sweet, 
deep cut BTS Sesame Street bits. That's what they, that's true. <laughs> Richard Hunt was known for his finger work. And I Whoa! You, sorry, you were oh. decapitated by that pole. I was final destinationing myself. <laughs> you gotta find something to grapple hook. Best pick of Richard anything? Hunt. I was just thinking about this the other day. Mm -hmm. Is when they're he's backstage in the Muppet Show, and I think it was a Henson thing that like they never treated the puppets with like insane reverence. It was always like these are tools we use. Yeah. Um, and he's like reading a script or something, and he's leaning on a ladder, but he's also wearing scooter. So he's got like his <laughs> hand like this, and he's looking at something. It's really good. That's funny. It's a good one. Don't make him like that anymore. How often do you just flip through pictures of backstage Muppets? Quite a lot. <laughs> and I knew you would know that picture. That's going to be a whole nother stream. What's it called? Just chatting? It's just be chatting. Brian and doing like a PowerPoint of his favorite Muppet pics. You want a grappling hook so, I found? What about it? Mm, what about it? I am missing something. Should I start answering the door that way? Yeah, I think it'll really increase your friendships. What? Mm, what about it? One other thing. Oh. Have you seen this before? Yes, I saw the it. Pelican. One of the dock workers, an odd sort. It's the what? Gave it to a oh, gang the brooch member, thing? Brannock. The medallion? He wanted Brannock to join their gang, or I don't know what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. That's that kid's This man who gave your friend the pendant, kid, can you describe him? Not very tall, not very strong. Tall. Wearing a red cap. Don't say what hand. he's not. <laughs> say what he is. Well you watch Pokemon. It's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, my friend the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Oh no, Anne. I was sure of that. I would be disgusted. I don't want to see at all. Enough. Maybe they need a longer <laughs> soaking in the gutter water. Now, what with the power of you? Laura's getting scientific. What do you make of this, Holmes? What did he explain? I was reading about Adelrefi, I can't tell you. He explained he away. Saying, he's, this he was like, yeah. the postman feels misused. And he was like, oh, it's fine. What did he say? Well, it's um, okay, the man who gave your friend the pen, can you describe him? Not very tall, strong, red cap, hair lip. Find him near Warehouse 12. He told Brannock he worked there. Thank you. By the way, my friend, the postman feels badly used. You should change the recipe. Basically, he's like, you got him yeah. screwed up. I was sure of that. Turnips weren't near weren't near rotted enough. Maybe they need a longer soaking in the gutter water. Now off with you. Ugh. Hmm. Entry ring and reinforcement. Wow, Anne. It's getting uh, intense. Man, you guys need a puppeteer together. I'd watch that show. Now, if you're going to use an entry ring, practice by yourself first before you do it with somebody else, just so you get a feel for it and what's right for you. I have no comment. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a sex thing. I have no comment. Okay. <laughs> That's a stream I'd watch. <laughs> Tiny puppets are my meow pretty protector face. I uh, I would love to see. <gasps> right. What? Can you grapple hook one of those? Uh, the, like no, keep turning no, that thing. Yeah, no, I've been trying. I've been, and it'll like, lift you away. To a different game. <laughs> I want us to ride on a crane. I mean, me and you both. Was it just barely keeping up in the back? Uh. So, oh, oh no, that's the same house. Tell her what happened to her we, kid, maybe. We need um. Didn't you say Ward thirteen? Yeah. Which we well, did see that big sign for. You're right. That's actually at the big, at the, ah, the, near the pub. You're right. Let's 
steamed hands. This time of year. In this economy? 15 south. Now, that arrow just goes into the ocean. That's where it is. Oh. Hmm. I forget who the guy is. Does he work here? Uh, he's like a local gangman. And he's supposed to be the friend of the guy that's missing? Yeah, uh, yeah, or the guy who gave him the pendant, so maybe he was, like, roughing him up or something. Okay. Cursed mermaid. Let's ask the bartender. Have you found anything of importance, sir? No, I have nothing to say to him. Nothing to say to this monster who's handless! He should have gone home now that he has a new hand. No, I have nothing to say to him. You're upset that it's still he's still mired have in drink. Have you found anything of yeah. importance, sir? You I should just no go celebrate, go you know, just relax, switch hands. I mean, now who's being weirdly <laughs> sexual? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I misunderstood the pendant story. What did that guy say? Uh, okay, let's look. I was too busy talking about puppets. Okay, have you seen this pendant before? Yes, I saw it. One of the dock workers, an odd sort, gave it to a gang member, Brannock. He wanted Brannock to join their gang. See, that that's actually seems kind of backwards, because that Brannock was the gang member. Or I don't know what. Must have been nigh on two weeks ago. Maybe there were two different gangs. Two days later, he went missing, and not a word since. The man a dock who gave worker... your friend the pendant, can you describe him? Not very strong, red cap, blah, blah, blah. Brannock is the kid that's missing. Uh-huh. The so dock, dock worker, worker is the red gave hat. the pendant to, Bran to Brannock. Yeah. And said, hey, join our gang. It's got cool bird pendants. Cool bird energy. And he, and he was like, I'll keep the pendant for now. <laughs> Still it's thinking. Not, it's not a yes or a no. <laughs> and then he it went missing. It would be rude to just throw the pendant back in your face. <laughs> hmm. Not very tall red cap. Okay. The hair lip. And he works by... Dock 13. So that's where we'll supposedly find him. But first we got to grappling hook ourselves up somewhere. <gasps> Can you grappling hook out to the boat and then yeah. swing and then swing? <laughs> yes, Ryan, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> Finally, the moment we've all waited for. <laughs> Yes, Watson. yes, yes. <laughs> Watson, hold on to my waist. We're going to do it. No one Ryan, is here. Why can't it be true? I know. No one is here. Hmm. You have to get up on a roof or something? Yeah, I mean. Are you sure you don't have to throw it at that boat and like... I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem likely. Swim after it or something? What if you take that boat and chase the other boat? This boat? It's not yeah. A derelict <laughs> boat? Just waiting for the tide to come in. There's a lot of it missing. <laughs> Hmm. What else is in your pocket? Not much. Yeah, just the knife, which I've used on the package, the metal, and the grappling hook. Hmm. Is and there any rope somewhere that you have to slash and, like, let something swing? When I keep hitting the space bar, I'm not seeing interaction points. I could switch over to the other mode. See if that changes our perspective on things. Yeah, that might help. Okay. Well, now we look dumb running. Is that how we looked the whole time? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Is that how I look? Oh. Can you go up that ramp and up that building? Uh, it's not really a ramp, I don't think. Oop. 
Watson, be cool, okay? He said, don't follow me everywhere. Every You're the lookout, steps. Watson. Watson, keep an eye out for the large man. I've been telling you. <laughs> Watson, we're looking for a gang that works in the wharf, okay? Like, we're both in three-piece suits. We gotta play cool. <laughs> We gotta blend in. I'd like to join your gang. <laughs> now I'm hiding. I feel like this is helping. That's some guard post. It's like, yeah, the end of the dock thing. Can you make it go up? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Do so we have to go back to Baker Street or something? I have no reason to go there. What about that no hint page? I have no reason to go there. Hmm. Well, we could use this. We've done two out of nine things? I guess so. Oh no, we're on the second out of oh no, I don't know. What am I looking for at the docks? Where's where at 16 when I was doing Okay, so wait, this is where we are. We're at the docks. What can I do with the wharf? How can I find Harper's house? This is the one it started us at. Okay, remember how the bartender did the house that has a large anchor? Well, we were in there. Yeah, we've done that, I think. Okay, well, the house is locked, but be sure to check around the outside to see what other things you can do. Maybe there's something we missed around that house, and that's why it's telling us this part of the strategy guide. Hmm. Let's go back to the house. That was the Nepalese residence. Okay, this was the right house here. that was locked. No one is here. No one is here. Okay. Watson, I swear to God. Maybe we have to grapple up to one of the windows because it's like no one's here, but there's someone hiding in there. I agree with that plan. If I could find a way to do it. Bromsby mm -hmm. and Company! Remember Bromsby <gasps> from the Silver Earring? Yes! Fun records. Our, their manufacturing business is really booming. Well, I assume that, um, what's her name? The girl Ivano, took over? Ivanovich, yeah, is, is running it. Oh. <gasps> what does that say? O'Reilly, the baby came to say to me that Sandra began giving birth <gasps> and that she claims me. The boat is clear. You will easily find registers not far. Philo. What? Okay. So someone left their post because someone's because their wife is having a baby. Maybe. Can't seem to pick any of this up though. Hmm. Should is the game telling us we need to go assist in a birth? Is is <laughs> is Watson needed to deliver a baby? He should be able to. Do you think he ever has, or is he too squeamish? <laughs> Definitely he has. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he they don't even seem to give him a specialty. He's just sort of a general practitioner. He just goes to rich people's houses and are like, you should rest. Yeah, basically. You should rest. Sounds like it's your servant's fault. Yeah. Uh, no hmm. one is here. No one is here. No one is here. Hmm. Hmm. We were past this point in the study guide, though. Maybe you're over, you're overestimating that study guide's intuitiveness. Oh, it's the other one. Is that kid okay? He t it's hard to tell. Oh, that's one of the symbols. 
on her wooden candle table. Oh, That's one of the symbols that was, uh, yeah. Why is it every time we turn the page, it's like we're cocking a gun? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was one of the symbols. Maybe it's not, actually. It doesn't look exactly like any of them. Maybe it's sort of this one, but I don't think so. Well, you know, let's go into the first person mode. No, this one's like a weird Dorito. You're right. Oh, wait, it's not even a carving. It's that it's a necklace. Oh, there. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's a weird Dorito. <laughs> Ryan describes all shapes in Dorito form. This one's a normal Dorito. This one's a weird one. Where does okay. that go door door go to? That's the house that's locked. Mm, someone's definitely in there. OK. Um... Retreat from the temple. Well, we're not there yet. How can I open the big door? Oh. I can't get into warehouse 12. How do I find the moonshiner's house? I did that. Look carefully around the outside of the large green doors to number 12. Okay, okay that's where we just were. Large green doors? I, I think so. Somewhere. Oh, well, there was a green door dividing the... Over here? Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about this. Uh... Is Warehouse 12 the one next to them? No. Well, the one over there was Warehouse 13, so it's probably this way. So let's see. Over here, maybe? I've seen large green doors. The door connecting the house and the place that's locked is a green door, but that's an interior green door. Hmm. I was talking about the warehouse door, though, so I don't think that's it. People, people. But who knows? Are those the large green doors? Oh, there it is. To your right. Well, wait. I swear, I've been. I went by Have this we? a thousand times. I don't remember this at all. Maybe I just looked at this side. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Mm. What a pity. The window is closed and the front door is barred. We must gain entry, mm. but how? But mm. how? Mm. Are we breaking in? Ah, Holmes. Ah, oh, don't touch me, Holmes. There you go. All right. Now we're talking. He looked over his shoulder like, am I right, Watson? Everybody, everybody <laughs> play it cool. But he keeps looking. What is he doing? <laughs> am I supposed you... Oh, I'm Watson now. Oh, what are you supposed to do? Give him a boost? No, I can't do that. I just cut the rope. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> What's in... Oh, you do have the same thing. You share a pocket. Maybe it's sort of a back... <laughs> well, now this plan looks dumb, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> if we all step back for a second, <laughs> he looks pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, do you give him a... He needs, like, a boost up, right? But how? Yeah. No, I can't do that. <laughs> well, no Sherlock, could you that. help us out a little? <laughs> give us some instructions? This is typical Sherlock, you know? Oh. Just standing there. He doesn't, he won't ask for help. Is there? I swear there was a crouch. Move forward, back, strafe. Dialogue, reports, documents. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's like a way to. Am I missing a control? You know? Yeah. I can't even talk to Holmes. Do it! Do it already! <laughs> and there's no interaction point for us? I can see, but apparently I've been missing them before. I mean, going around the building wouldn't help, right? The whole point is he's got... Are we supposed to jimmy the lock with our knife? 
No, I can't do that. No. Are we supposed to, like... Oh, if we're breaking in, are we supposed to, like, get that light out? Can we, like, throw something at the light? <gasps> oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, am I guiding oh, him? Oh, okay. I had to guide him to the latch, I guess. Bravo, Holmes. Oh, so it wasn't an, a, a grappling hook. Ah, it bites. You're right, we didn't climb. Well, it bites? What, what bites? Was ah. he just like, oh, this plan bites. Transferring into my other body, it bites. <laughs> We're not even inside. A catch, Watson, but I prefer to let it go. After you. Okay. Not after you, though. I'm going. I cannot uh, do this. Like I cannot do this. Uh, what is it? Like a valve? Oh, it looks like a potato. It's also a potato. I pick something up there. It's like a pulley. Where does this go? Over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're supposed to get the yeah that door open somehow. We can't do this in such a way. How could we lift up this weight? Let us pause to consider the. F okay, this is fine. We have to like hook we something on it. We can't do this in such a way. How could we lift up this weight? Let us yeah. pause pull, to consider so the facts, it? Watson. No mystery can resist an. Yeah. Oh, blood. Oh. Blood. <gasps> Gin. I need something. Remember that? Uh, emotionally? Oh, there's some footprints. Oh, they lead into the trap door. Look closely, Watson. These marks upon the ground tell the tale. There were repeated trips made between the place with the sailcloth and that large box. Okay. Oh. Oh. Amos Colby. Date and birth, April 20th, Boston, enter the country, blah, blah, blah. Here's a drama ah! of Cthulhu in blood. We love it. Look, Watson, a page torn from an American passport. One Amos Colby, 36 years old, from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh. He arrived here just three weeks ago. What business did he have here? What business? This drawing on the back of this page, it resembles some vision of a demon and... Good God, Holmes, it was drawn with blood. The end of this hat pin is covered with blood. Everything it would seem bloody. likely that whoever cut He's himself with in this pocket. pin is also the artist of this demoniac image. Demoniac? Yeah, demoniac image! He's a demoniac, demoniac <laughs> on the floor. I need something. I need something. I need something. Knife? You can sh shimmy it open? Oh, here we go. This oh, should crowbar. prove useful. I need something. Sales, and according to this tab, the case is measured two meter by one meter by one meter. Okay. Someone has entered these cases of sailcloth to hold something very different, but still suited to their particular form. Oh, my God, Holmes, you oh, do not mean that... God! All these crates are better called coffins. Karma coming out hard against enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I do not approve of their antics. Okay, you have a lantern. What do you make of this, oh. Holmes? Watson, step back! <laughs> Watson. We're trying to think. Okay, so do we think that they are sh they're smuggling people into the country? I cannot and or do out this. of the country. Yeah, I like I that theory. Do this. It seems like out, right? Because people are disappearing. Yeah, but I that guy's from America. True. Maybe it's not so much smuggling as it is like getting rid of people that are a problem. Unless you smuggle someone out and give them a new passport. 
And that's the one of the America is one of the passports. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that didn't seem <laughs> okay. Do you have a plan here, uh, Holmes? <laughs> sure. Just shoving buckets around. Quick, get in! Oh, I was really hoping he was gonna get in. Oh, I thought he was gonna get in. Watson, we. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Look, it's it's water. I gotta fill this up with water. Oh, yeah. Okay, but I can't move. Um, I can't open the water valve yet for some reason. Can you climb up on those barrels and fit, get the valve? No, I don't think so. Why not? Well, because I don't have, like, an interaction point. Oh. There's no jumping in this game. Oh, I was able to do it. Oh, I had to move it in place first. Okay. Got a big tub of water. Seems like it'd be hard to move this now. Uh, yeah, slosh, slosh, slosh around. Slosh, slosh, slosh. So we are trying to get that gate open still with like the weight of something i think so do so to fill up that uh well um i imagine we have to transfer this bucket to this other rope maybe and then use it to the weight to pull the doors open yeah um but it seems like there's a couple steps we're missing here Oh, there's a weight. Oh. Yeah. Oh wait, was that our was that our hand? Like the doorstop, though, I think. That's our is that our claw hand? Uh oh. Uh yeah, maybe. No, I think it's like a doorstop. I don't know. Hmm. Um. Can I not do anything with this? Iron bar, storm lantern. Shine a light in the bucket and be like, where were you last Tuesday? Oh, there we go. Okay, I moved it. I moved it to the, the other rope because with my great okay. home strength. Good job. Now this is over here. Can I do it now? I'm just trying to like tie this to this, right? Yeah. Maybe you need the hat pin like you're threading a needle. That doesn't make any sense, but maybe you need it. Go to the wide go to the wide view again. Hmm. It seems like I am picking it up. Oh, well there we go. There you go. Okay. It's got to go to the point and click view. Jump in. Watson, check this out. Uh, oh. I cannot do this. Um. How am I? How am I going to activate my sweet tramp? I have to click turn. Oh, is it a nail? I need the. Yep, there we go. Watching you walk around in first person view is genuinely making me nauseous. Sorry. <laughs> you did it. I did it. Bravo, Holmes. We'll take a break. This is worth taking a break to see me <laughs> on this little statue. <laughs> and for my next trick. <laughs> All right. Let's go Watson, down here. we must inspect this place carefully and leave no stone unturned. We have little time. Uh, let's use the lantern down here. Good God. Good God. Holmes. Where are we? Tread lightly, Watson. This place seems alive and watchful. <laughs> water bottle. The biggest water bottle in the world came comically out of nowhere. 
Watson has never seen a basement before. <laughs> That's Anne. Good oh, God, Hermes. It's a mystical one. Oh, here we go. Oh, your lamp has like a symbol on it? Um. And you have to match it up? Yeah, maybe. Or complete. Maybe. You have to complete one. Well, let's look at our uh, guy here. Okay, so I think it's this part. So it connects to make a little pterodactyl. Is it? I thought it was. It's like a C. You have like a C shape. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. What is this? Oh, I can go to a different part of the. Okay. Like, I think it's like that. No? I think it's that one. Okay. Oh, sorry. The other one. This one? Yeah. Maybe. Go back to the piece of paper again. I just want to see how many. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, I might, might not be understanding this puzzle yet here. Well, what's this over here? Let's look at this first. Uh oh. There's nothing Ryan loves more than pushing a stone puzzle. It's true. Hey, if, if I feel like the puzzle is well hinted... It took my earphones out. I can't hear you. What? I'm choosing not to hear you. <sighs> Finally a break from Ashley. With her... Oh, great. Now she's turning on her security robot. Oh, I'm Ashley. I've got the fanciest gadgets. But I... Oop. Hi! Turning my AC up. You deserve it. Um. It's a heat wave! A tropical heat wave! what I'm doing here. It doesn't seem like I can actually click this into place anywhere. Am I just supposed to be referencing it? <laughs> <laughs> I assume that security robot was something dumb Ryan said while I wasn't listening. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, don't worry about it. It's like it's that. Do you have to, uh, hmm. but in the door part, you're like pushing things. Right. Maybe this isn't necessary, the thing we're, I'm doing here. Maybe we do it later. Okay, well, let's just try pushing. So, all right, Ash, what are our names for all these things? Pterodactyl. Okay. Stabbed in the eye. Yep. Snakehead. Uh, uh, okay. Let's yeah, it's got two little eyes and a nose. Oh, it's got little fangs? Is that what you're going for? Yeah, that's just its neck. Oh, okay, got it. It's like looks like this, like a puppet. Okay. And then... I don't know what that is, Ryan. Monster energy drink? Monster energy drink. <laughs> okay, so pterodactyl, stabbed in the eye, snake puppet, snake. monster energy drink. None of those are a pterodactyl. I see what we're doing. We have to see what they look like uncompleted, and then we know which one is the one, the symbol we want. Oh, uh, okay. So... Pterodactyl. That, is that top one stabbed in the eye? I think the bottom one is stabbed in the eye. Can't tell. Let's see this one. No, it's this one, I think, right? Well, I don't know. Well, it's an X. And yeah. Our symbol, our shape is sort of a C, like a C, right? Yeah. I think it could be that one. No, it doesn't make the X. I think it's this? Like it goes that way? Yeah, maybe. All right, stabbed in the eye. I don't know. Hmm. I think this is Snake Puppet. Oh, this is uh, Monster Energy Drink. Okay, I'll 
pterodactyl. Snapped in the eye. Snake puppet. Monster. Nope. All right, let's look at our let's look at our light again. So, okay, that stabbed in the eye, right? Right? Yes. Okay, so stabbed in the eye. <laughs> oh, gosh, Ann. Okay, let's look for pterodactyl real quick. Oh, this is pterodactyl, right? Yes. Okay, so pterodactyl is um, a little robot hand, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have robot hand. Stabbed in the eye is a little like a like a X. Yeah, yeah I guess X. it's an X with a hat. With with the hat, X with a hat. Okay, robot claw, X with a hat. With a hat. That's Monster Energy Drink, right? Yeah. And that's Snake Puppet. Yeah. So Robot Claw, X with a hat. Um, what's this one? Move, we move the thing out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Like uh, it's in backwards F. Backwards F. Uh, bird feet. Okay. Robot Claw. Robot X claw, with the hat. X with the hat. Backwards, backwards F, F. Bird feet. Bird feet. Robot Claw. <laughs> Robot Claw. Mm -hmm. X with a hat. X with a hat. Backwards F. Wait, no. No. This one? I think the uh, second one is bird feet. No, we this we click this one. This is robot claw. I'm looking for backwards Fs. Backwards F. Backwards F. Backwards F. The top one. Let's go back to the other ones. Hi, Stud. Hey, Stud. Yeah, this is perfect timing. Oh, this is backwards F. Backwards F. Right. Backwards yes. F and bird feet look too similar. Bird's feet were two separate pieces, and they were both like Y's. Okay, I'm trying this one then. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we did it. Stud, there are people missing, and we're going to find them. Oh, this guy appeared. Uh oh. We're on a wharf. Oh no. What do you make they... of this, Holmes? Um, their families and sometimes their weird abusive employers lost them. This should prove useful. More lumps of things like I like. Oh no, they have been like keeping people down there. I think they're smuggling people in. Yeah, you think or it's like out. a human trafficking scenario? Yeah. But what if it's like a ritual sacrifice to Cthulhu? Why would you say that? Well, maybe it is that. Oh, is that the same? That's is that the same drawing that the guy drew in the pendants, sand? In the shape of a That's pelican. Exactly it. These are brothers Let's to see. the one found at the Nepali's house. Quite useless. These trinkets are nothing but Quite charming useless. decoys. Decoy for what? A box full of pendants. This does look similar, but I don't. Oh, maybe this. Maybe this part of it over like here is the same. The that wave one right there yeah. that you're standing in front of. No, no, this isn't. You mean the one at the, at the um, Maori guy's house? 
Yeah. No, this is much much more detailed. That one was like more tribal looking. It looked, I think, similar. To but like don't you think around. they're similar? Because he was having a dream of something he remembered. Oh, you're saying it's like, yeah, yeah. I could see it being representative of the same thing. But I was talking yeah. about, look at this one. Looks like much more similar stylistically. Oh, yeah. Although, I don't know. He's so close to you. Holmes, would you like to kiss? <laughs> Holmes is scared of the dark. Oh, there's too many beds. I don't like it. It's too sad. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of these ones, I think. It's gonna be a creepy game. Hmm, that smell. This water contains a strong. Start, how was work? Metal boxes, and here is one that still bears a label. It is in the shape of a flower, Edel which appears to be Edelweiss, and it is black. Edelweiss. How remarkable. They are not We're going to Switzerland? I must take the contents of this box to Baker Street for a more thorough analysis. More thorough analysis okay. means Beyond he's either going to light it on fire, you burn right. it with acid, or put opiate. some water on it. Holmes, <laughs> could these villains be <laughs> opium smugglers? You are 16 going and 17. <laughs> opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right. This is definitely an opiate. Could be opium smugglers. Hmm, that smell. This water. Oh, a temple is outdoors. Interesting. That does, that does sound What a peculiar drawing. Too hot to handle. Yeah, it does sound hot, but that's like a cool concept for it to be outdoors. I need to hop past. I'm going to go to the little uh, detective's room. Okay, I found a rectangle containing a cross. Oh, she's gone. I hope it's coming along well. I'm really excited to see it. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I triggered a cutscene. Uh, I don't think I can. I know escape will skip it. I hope it's not a big deal. What a horror. Okay. Well, wait. Um, yeah, I hope you got your water and stuff. So what's the deal, Stott? Is it still social distancing in pods or has that been relaxed? Um, I hope everybody's vaccinated there and he doesn't have to be so restrictive so many it's just extra things to worry about on top of getting your job done which is annoying i know i'm not speaking from experience because i've been working from home for a year and a half although um we're gonna try to get back to jackbox soon and do some more in-person stuff potting and you have zones are you still wearing masks Makes sense to keep potting, I suppose. A uh, temple needs zones anyway. The hidden temple should have zones. Still masking? That's good. Mask Tam. What's that mean? Tan. Oh no, a mask tan. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'm so insanely pale that I never had to be concerned with it. Wow. That's interesting. So you look like you sort of got like a clown face kind of going, like you kind of big old. I'm sure it looks good on you. As Rodney Tangerfield would say. Looks good on you though. That's cool. I hope it's going well. I am envious of your exciting job. Hmm. Um, yeah, in the lull, we've been in the office a little bit. There's definitely more people there now than there were recently. It's a weird time of flux because we have newer people who were hired recently who are going to go going to the office because they're like, I want to see the office and I want to go be with people that I haven't met before in person, which is great. Um, but for me, I'm like, I do want to go back, but at the same time, we have this new space we're moving into in the same building. And I'm almost like, I don't want to go back until all these <laughs> things. Didn't. So there were some things that maybe occurred. Oh, no. We didn't. You didn't miss anything, but there was a short shot of this Cthulhu statue back here. And then it revealed this gentleman who was on the altar. Watching this game has literally made me nauseous. I had to go get ginger candy. 
So is it just, just is it because of the gore just or my stay movement? alive. It was the movement. <laughs> this message is engraved in some language unknown to me. I must make a copy Cthulhu of this message before the police this. arrive. A herd of buffalo he could not leave a greater them. mess than the local Why is he Cthulhu Iglesias? Is he doing something Julio Iglesias-esque that I'm missing? Um. This message is engraved in some language un... I must make a copy of this message before the police arrive. A herd of... This man was bound with rope shortly before his death. <laughs> Cthulio. You're right, Laura. I always forget that not to look for any meaning in in your statements and just go with them. Um, I will say that uh, a couple of different, you know, stuff I looked up at this game was like, by the way, it's really gory, and that's that is uh, that's bearing out. Thanks for not telling me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't uh, <laughs> didn't think of that. What's on my shirt? Um, okay, let's look into this. We gotta, we gotta be professionals about this, Ashley. We're professional this detectives, man's right professional index streamers. Finger is coated with okay, dust. I feel like I can't watch it for a second. I gotta get my eyes right. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> you do what you need to do. I can, I can handle it. <laughs> it's too dizzy. This man's right index finger is coated with dust. It was dust. like I was Sherlock, and I was, I was moving too quick for my <laughs> Ashley brain. Being Sherlock is too hard. This man's right index. All I'm reading so far is Dodd says he's super sexy and needs to know if there's ancient rooms to get into the office. Oh, um, yeah. You are going to need to worry about those rooms. This message is engraved in some language. I must make a copy. Actually, there are. I don't know if you know all the codes for security, but you're going to have to. Anne's going to come uh, to Chicago soon. I'm excited. Yay! Wait, get lunch, hang out. I don't like gore stuff. Mm -mm. Not this a not message a, is engraved in some language unknown mm -hmm. to me. Exingale, what's up? Make a copy of this message Hi, before Exingale. the police arrive. A herd of buffalo could tomorrow? not be a greater mess than the local constabulary. <gasps> You're moving tomorrow, Anne? I think she's just coming to town to look for places. This message is engraved. Don't put words in Anne's message. mouth. Uh, you right. Oh, here's my, sorry, I left my Daredevil Halloween costume here. I'm a blind lawyer, Matt Murdock. <laughs> I'm sure that's a hilarious joke, but I literally brought up a window to cover the stream, so I can't blood. see it. And here, the pocket is pierced. <laughs> I just needed <gasps> a second. To be papers okay, inside. okay, okay. Well, I'll start it back the other mode. I was just, I was trying to investigate by looking closely. No, you can keep investigating, and I'll keep hanging out with the chat for a second. Okay. I'm turning off the. I'm turning off that mode. But we got Northwood Agency. We found a, a a paper that says Northwood Agency. For you, we shall search the world. So he's got some. This guy's this dead man's clothes had some detective agency clues in them. Shut up for a second. Hexingale, is it your birthday? What? Ashley, don't you have a song for Hexingale's birthday? Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's, it's sort of staccato. It's sort of a, it's a jazzy thing. Yeah, I noticed that was sort of a syncopation. You. Happy birthday. Oh, it's not your birthday yet, but we're going to still celebrate to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. This man fought you. hard before his tragic end. The dreadful-looking broken statuette reveals much about his Yeah, we celebrate style. birthdays in advance. Yes. Um... I mean... In fact, we refuse to celebrate birthdays on the day. Come to us the day after your birthday and we'll celebrate this the next year's birthday in advance. This message is engraved in some language. I must make a copy of... Okay, he wants me to make a copy of the message. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna like rub on this. Okay, good, good, good. I'm gonna rub on it. Ew. This okay. game won GameSpot's best use Excellent. of a license award. Of those symbols. <laughs> Bravo, a very specific award. That was definitely the kind of thing that used to be 
a big deal in video games. It's actually good licensed video games. There's more of them now than there used to be. It used to be just a foregone conclusion that any game based on something was going to be terrible. Because it was like, people are going to play it anyway because they like the thing. We don't have to make it good. Yeah. This like man has Harry a small Potter, wound on play. his left thumb. He uh, must have drawn that strange figure in blood on the torn passport page. Right, he drew that thing we saw. This man has a small wound on his left. This unfortunate man must have interrupted the kidnappers while they were transferring their Oh, victims. he doesn't have a leg, What are you right? speaking about? All of the kidnapped people were kept here, and from the look of things, for we some days. We need to call the there police! There must have been a good this number of them, so they were trapped the to keep them docile. <laughs> then, with the vile assistance of Riff Raff, hired by Dirty Summers, they loaded these people Ooh. into the missing cases from the warehouse. Last night, these poor oh, unfortunates no, were loaded to be onto the a waiting ship. Their destination, as yet unknown. Oh my god! Holmes! Die go. a body! <laughs> Uh oh, are we gonna be blamed for this murder? Wait, is that us? Did we just discover them all over again? It's moving. It's moving? Oh. <gasps> oh no! Alert! Alert! Yes! 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 No! Uh oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Frog wears you shouldn't have. Uh, oh. Let's leave this place, Watson. Hey, let's leave we this can do place. Nothing here. <laughs> yeah, the clipping did make it worse. <laughs> I loved it. Now I'm the opposite of Stodd because hmm. I do like gore stuff, but I also really like that Frog wears is going for it. Yeah. That I that <laughs> it's just <a> squirrel. <laughs> was it waiting for us to come along? Yeah, was it, or it was like, oh hey guys, now that you're here, can I get a ride? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually I was hoping someone would come along. Yeah, uh, I he don't came know. open like a cheap pinata. <laughs> Candy comes out. In light of my discoveries. Okay, the kidnapped people were held here for several days. We knew that. Yeah. There's a significant number of them. Therefore, the opiate mixture, was a, which we found opium, was applied to which rendered them docile and easy to control. Yeah. These same people were placed in the empty sail containers by Dirty Summer's men, and I don't actually know... What, who's, who's Dirty Summers? summers? At first, I, wait, maybe it's Summers. Is Summers a company? Like the people who made the sales? Oh. I, I thought it was a character too for a second. Dirty Summers. Dirty Summers is like a drink I would order. Yeah, can I get a Dirty Summers on the rocks? According to the statement, up, according to the statement of the barman from the Harbor Pub, this living cargo was stowed away at night and as recent as yesterday. The destination of these poor souls, unknown. Wow. I guess we solved the mystery. Is it done? <laughs> yeah, that was what it was. See that this is delivered to Mr. Holmes at the Diogenes Club as quickly I love as possible. It. I also like how Do his leave notes... without his reply. Though such insistence Don't mention the giant octopus monster that came out of the dead body. What the devil are you doing, Holmes? I am sending a letter to my dear brother and including a reference to the strange oh, we get I found Mycroft. on the temple stones. Perhaps he could make you think something. Think he'll be a character this time. He we just saw, got a letter last time. Watson, I, I hope must so. know what was in the metal boxes that we found in this strange temple. <laughs> How is that what you're focusing on right now? Maybe it's supposed to be like. <laughs> no, I, I can't even take it seriously. I was like, maybe there's a normal <laughs> explanation, like uh, leeches or. No. Like there was an octopus just hiding in that dead body? Mm -hmm. Who put it there? My money is still on. There's a normal explanation for this. What about you? I don't know anymore. Nothing. I thought it was. <laughs> I really Nothing. thought the game was going to tease us along for a while uh -huh. about like what's happening. Is there something supernatural? Nothing. But instead, Nothing. the game starts with Nothing. like these people are missing. You need to find out why. And, you know. 
three hours later, it's like, well, we found out where the people were, found out why, we found out where. Here it is. We solved it. Also, new mystery, giant squid monster. I mean, to be fair, I think that, like, this is the thing that gets us going, and then we're like, clearly there's a larger conspiracy at play. It's not as though that it's like, well, I wash my hands of that thing. We have to still to but find we... out what, who, why these people were being kidnapped. And there, it is done. We this just walked out, though. Powder. We didn't even try to capture the squid monster or kill the squid monster or... It's true. We this, haven't. Put the, put the squid monster in a tank for, tank for further research. For research Nothing. purposes. <laughs> it's true. We may be a little reticent or... or uh, Perhaps uh, if I apply heat. Uh, what am I trying to say? Recalcitrant in our duties? No, yeah. No, recalcitrant. Calcitrant means you don't want to do it. Reticent means you're hesitating to do it. But we are lacking. Derelict is what I meant. Derelict oh, wait. Oh. Um, Perhaps if I apply heat? Yeah, do it. So wait, did want. we really just leave? Did we really just like slowly close that thing? We put the water into a different pot and we slowly close the door and that we're just going to leave that for the people yeah, in the morning to find? Yeah. By opium and morphine. This he did is the say same he was compound on the ball police. found at Stenick's place. He said, because he's like, I got to get marking from this till before the call. Oh, here we go. Watson hopefully is going to be like, what the hell? How goes it, Holmes? How what are you is doing, the Holmes? result of your analysis? Without question, this is clearly a derivative of opiates. He's found mustard seeds in Something still it again. troubles me, though. The facts indicate this substance must have been oh, used in large quantities. But no English druggist could provide such an amount. Far too risky. And I do not believe British customs would allow such a large quantity to pass through unremarked. Well, I am convinced of quite the oh. opposite, Holmes. How can that be, Watson? Explain your reasoning. Explain your reasoning. Please remember that, as a doctor, I am oh, yeah. accustomed to the or use I of various compounds, including powerful derivatives such as distilled opiates. Those imported from the continent enjoy a special status with British customs, who do not bother the shipments and take little note of the quantities inside. Mm. Such shipments are easily identified by their labels. They always bear the identifying mark of the particular medical academy within that of country, which has an agreement monster? with our own governing academy. <laughs> Though I can't determine the precise country of origin, <laughs> I would swear the label scrap left on this crate Watson's is one providing such some as actual this. relevant information to country. Yeah, this is really never helpful. Get to the end of your possibilities. You have solved this little riddle for us. Quickly and waste no time. We must and get quick. ourselves to the custom inspector's office at the harbour. What? Now? Can't it wait for our tea? Oh, no. coming, Holmes. What? Okay. There's a squid monster after you. <laughs> no one's taking this seriously <laughs> enough. I mean, it was more like lit, like snakes. They were separate. They were separate entities. This is me. It, this is me gaslighting you later. I'm like, there was no squid monster. <laughs> yeah. Ashley's crazy. Uh, or what I about... will t I will say that at least one of their hands fell off because that head piece got pushed off and yeah, its yeah. little head came down. I'm saying those aren't necessarily tentacles onto one thing. They could just be like, and saying they were like slugs, like big slugs. Oh sure, we all think it's not a squid <laughs> monster now. All of a sudden, we're doubting what I saw in my own eyes. <laughs> Trying to brush it under the rug. I think you guys are all being employed by the opiate um, market. I have no reason to go there. Um, or what about this theory? What about, since we found all this opium, what if, if we got some kind of weird contact high and all and hallucinated a squid monster? Look at that. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's go back into that little dungeon and see who does or does no not have a squid there. monster to contend with. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Hey, double checking. Have you seen any kind of squiddish monster? Yeah, go into the pub and see if anyone's been eaten by a squid monster. The guy turns around and he's like, I don't have a wooden hand anymore, but I have this <laughs> tentacle. Oh, life is terrible. I tried to kill a bug with it. I thought you were going to say that he turns around <laughs> and he's like this squid's tending bar. He's like, plenty for your thoughts, Sherlock. All, all of his hands are wiping the counter. Yeah, right, they're all <laughs> That's clean enough. <laughs> Sir, did you find what you were looking for? Emotional. Yes. 
And no. Tell me, where can I find the customs agent? Any suspicious squids the man's in town? Name is Bedos, <laughs> and at this time of day, yeah, you're likely to find him on the pier is near so a ship. Thank you. You have been most helpful. Thank you. Pleasure to be of service, sir. There's no one ever in this I bar. No we could at least stay and buy a drink. Yeah, I know. The Sherlock drink? I know he's a drug addict. I don't know. I feel like he's had. I feel like I've seen him have a sherry or two. Privately. Mm-hmm. Uh, wasn't listening to any of that. Um. Uh, uh, anything agent. I Beto's said or anything the game said? On the pioneer ship. Who? Huh? Okay, I think we have to go this way. Bye, Beto's. So what's the feeling in the chat? Now, this is another time where we could have a poll if we were a real Twitch stream. But do you um, guys, are you rooting for it to be a... I don't think we can actually do a poll. We have to put a plug in it. Uh, although, feel free to look. Um, are you guys rooting for it to be magic? Uh, in the sense that there's an actual Cthulhu monster type Lovecraftian horror in it? Or are you rooting for it to be a Scooby-Doo where we find out that there is a logical explanation to all of this? Holmes does drink. That makes sense. What does he drink? What's his drink of choice? Like a tea with whiskey. Mm -hmm. Well... Julian. I didn't find the pole, but I found this. The <laughs> pole! Well, that's not the pole, is it? <laughs> yeah, worth it, though. Oh my gosh, this dog is so cute. The <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's none of this. None of this is your is fulfilling your mod duties. I'm a mod now, everyone. It comes with great power and great responsibility. Okay. What? Brandy and port. Interesting. Okay. Um. Thank you, Anne. Now I can read this letter. O'Reilly, the child came and said that Sander was giving birth and that she claims me to be the father. The boat is clear. You will easily find the registers not far away. The child came and said that Sandra was giving birth and that she claims me to be the father. Let us hope that these registers contain what we need. They must be here somewhere. Aha, these huh. must be the registers. This one concerns special imports. You've seen that like 10 times, mm. Sherlock. Nothing definite or comprehensible here. All I feel like his brush with a squid goods monster were stored in warehouse 16. Yes. I see nothing further of interest here. Best to leave these ledgers as we found them. Okay, that's warehouse 16. Can we go over there? Da, 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 13. I have no reason to go there. Except that there's a giant squid monster trapped in there. Oh. I went to warehouse 13. I was, like, trying to get closer. Actually, no, I went to the smuggler's hideout, didn't I? I don't know where warehouse 16 is. I mean, last time I wandered around forever and didn't I think. Although I wonder if it's that other green door we couldn't open before. We're going to need another hand. We're going to need a bigger boat. Um, okay, let's go this way. Kind of get turned around. <laughs> I think you shall know I think I've recovered from that. Are you okay? Sherlock spins of 2020. Thanks to my tiny ginger juice. Well, that's good because I gotta go to first person to see what I'm doing here. Oh gosh, I gotta close my eyes again. It's hard to sort of get your bearings when the camera angle changes, which is why I do kind of like first person for. I like know this. that's the problem I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be gradual about it. No, I have so nothing to say. So in this same to you. year, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Holmes wandered up to a cop and was like, I have nothing to say to him. <laughs> In the same year, they also released 
Sherlock Holmes versus Austin Lopin. Oh, interesting. So they made a new one and also remastered this one in the same year, or they or both of the originals came out in the same year. Both of the originals came out in the same year. Interesting. That's a banner year for frog wart wares. Frog warts. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um that's unusual to me because they had like two teams working on two separate Sherlock Holmes games. It seems like they would not be able to share resources effectively. Or maybe they had them like built up and you know released them released one was older and already done or something. Maybe one was held up in a legal battle. <laughs> I mean, it's completely possible. And points out we are all veterans of the Frog Wars. <laughs> nothing to say to him. And that is so true. I have nothing to say to him. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. He I am. was my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet baby Dan Radcliffe. It really was. I wonder how many takes of that, and they were like, <laughs> "Okay, that's it." I think we'll keep that's that one. about as good as we're gonna get today. Yep, that's fine. He was a growing actor. He's a great <laughs> Dan actor. Dan Radcliffe. Dan Radcliffe is almost exactly my age. I think we have a very close birthday. It's disgusting to hear that. Oh, really? That's cool. He's going to sacrifice himself. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. <sighs> I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I miss Christopher Columbus. I liked his magical touch on the first movies. Extremely unpopular opinion. He was an extremely racist explorer. <laughs> no, I have nothing to say to you. Oh, oh no. I mean, I know we're Italian, but you're giving us a bad oh. name. I miss Christopher Columbus and all of his expeditions. I he miss his village. great sailing that he did. <laughs> I miss the Nina, the Pinta. Where's Spain when you need them? They got to they gotta fund some more adventures. <laughs> Mr. Hey, King Ferdinand. That's what happens when a woman's in charge, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> Woo. Uh, you miss Chris Columbus, the film director? Yeah, Christopher C. Columbus. Rogue Gremlins. I, I don't know his middle name. Sort of. Um, <laughs> he was a... What, he, if we, what if we replaced all Christopher Columbus statues with Chris Columbus? Uh, and then yeah. everyone could be happy about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Mario. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> you know, the other hero to the Italian people. Yeah. Mario. And they would all say, it's a me. <laughs> Mario on the plaque. I was doing editorial no, I have reviews. nothing to say to him. And somebody had like an it's a me joke. And I'm like, is that racist? No, right? <laughs> we all know it's about Mario. <laughs> no, that's a joke on Mario. It's a joke about Mario and his, what he thinks is okay. Not what that's, I say. That's Mario being dumb. That's Mario's word. We can't use that. <laughs> it's not for us. When we were home, we were doing, mom was taking us around the, her garden. <laughs> and she, there was a brick over this like hole in the garden. We were like, what's happening over there? And she's yeah. like, there's a big hole down there. And I was like, what do you think's down there? And she was like, mm. I, was like do you, she, I was like, do you think it's a snake? And she said, we don't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> Baby mom's a little bit afraid of snake. That's, that's their word. We don't use that. <sighs> How would you find Warehouse 16? <laughs> I had covered up that screen again. Let's see, Warehouse 16. Of all the warehouses I've been in. And you've been in some. Which was the 16th of them? Is there something else we're supposed to do before then that we're missing that's gonna give us the clue to Warehouse 16? 
I don't think so. Warehouse 16 was the last clue we got. I guess I could look at this thing again here. Um, what am I looking for back <laughs> at the docks? Sorry, I'm laughing at Anne's <laughs> synonyms for snake. Long boys. Which include long boys and danger noodle. <laughs> Mom's sort of an Indiana Jones type. Okay, we did speak with the... We did this. Okay, there should be a sign. I saw the sign that said customs this way, but I did not yeah, see Yeah, but I thought that was just for that little, like, gazebo. Is that not pointing to that sign? I thought this was customs. Is this just oh, yeah, a guy, yeah, yeah. like... Oh, yeah, Sorry, sorry. This is customs. You're right. So then we looked at the, the document. He said he's gone. Signed. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. This He said he was going to be by Warehouse 16. That's what, that's how we got to Warehouse 16. Okay, yeah. I remember that. Warehouse 16. Right. Okay. Head to Warehouse 16. We knew that much. Um, oops, nope. Blake Edwards. Um, oh. Where's Warehouse 16? From the pub, Warehouse 16 is the right side of the dock. Okay, we're on the wrong side of the map. Okay. Is Julie Andrews husband, Blake Edward, gonna be in this? Yeah. And she's gonna show her boobs in this one. Ryan, why? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it's she has every right to do as she pleases. <laughs> What was that movie? She she did that in one of his movies. I think it was called Long Iron, Boys. Iron Curtain? Oh no. no. <laughs> Long Boys. Wasn't that one? Do I have to go down here? Do you think they had to take out the music because in what used to be here was them singing Sitting on the Dock of the Bay? Yeah. And they were like, I... oh, YouTube muted it. <laughs> yeah. 2007. <laughs> Got a copyright strike, right? I believe that was the year YouTube actually started. It was in 2007, if I remember. Mm, coincidence? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, was... go back, Watson. Go Watson, back. It's not it. You can do. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Watson, can you do your own thinking, Watson? Like, I need you. I need a team member here. Okay. Warehouse 16. Let's split up. I have no reason to go there. No reason to go there. What? Warehouse 16 is at the is that to the right side of the dock. Is that it? No, I don't think. That's where I went. Who's right? It says from the pub. So you're leaving the pub and it's to the right? I I guess. So you're looking at the pub. Quick! Jump on the boat! Whoa! Bum, 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 bum. Now Watson is even following us. He's like, I'll stand here and see where you end up. Oh. Okay, that the was place left. where there's a strike signs? That was for sure the left. The iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some valuable evidence. Okay. Hold on, Watson. These traces have much to tell us. Regard how they resemble those nearby. I was holding on, all right? You don't have to tell me to hold on every time. Hmm. Oh, there's little uh, studs in them? Yeah. It's a regular the, stud finder. The one. It's magnifying glasses, the real stud finder. <laughs> yeah, that? one of them had the nails missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was flip floppy? Hold on, Watson. These. Ah. Hold on, Watson. The size <laughs> is undoubtedly seven. Is, it, is he cranking the thing back up? <laughs> Hold on, Watson. The Hold on, Sherlock Holmes. Put your leg in the fire and take your Watson back home. Let's see. Got to measure one of them. One of them's going to do it. Go nice and slow. Nice and slow. What about the footprint in the top left? Sorry, it was top right. 
Mm-hmm. When will you realize? What about the white powder? Yeah. Where? There. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, I don't think it's just like a uh, part of the stone. I think. Hmm. Oh, we sure did look at it. Yeah. No one can say we didn't look at it. You can't say we didn't, and I expect to be paid in full. Who's paying us? Ten minutes. How did we even get this case? Let me explain. Captain Stewart, his Maori servant, ran away. Oh, but he was just a patient of Dr. Watson. He's not I see no way of opening anyone. this door. Filthy tar, my shoes are thick with it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, you don't have to... So should we follow it back that way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You think that's why they put that line in there? Like, nobody's <laughs> figuring out to follow the tar. <laughs> There's still, there was still, um... Oh, there you go. Now it's gone. This wasn't you were here just here. I yeah. need something. I, I like that Sherlock really uses his words when he's in need of something, you know? Unlike that messenger kid that was like, oh, oh my head. Oh, my Here's head. A sack. This I don't feel Spanish. so good. I watched Ryan play Point of View, Sherlock. <laughs> oh, 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 I watched all of the council. <laughs> the ending was ludicrously disappointing. Oh, I didn't know there'd be a real squid monster in it. I thought it was a metaphor. Like Black Asian rice. Black Adelaide. Excellent. We now know the source of these illicit goods. Watson, we shall now return to Baker Street. There is much to be done. Oh. Wines and cinnamon. Have we received any word from Mycroft? It seems to me there is seems a letter on the table. Live for your you. life like a candle Perhaps in the wind, Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock, the Northwood Agency is based in Boston, Massachusetts, America. They engage in a wide variety of confidential investigations, but generally they are regarded as specialists in international searches for missing people or works of art. This is oh. the, the, the Northwood Agency was the thing that got the dead guy had on him, uh, if you don't remember, which I barely did. Okay. They have a solid reputation. Which, which guy, which dead guy had on him? The dead guy we found in the temple. Um, his clothes were next to him, and he had a, a flyer for the Northwood Agency. Oh, I wasn't here for that. And, and we used... You were here for that. I closed my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, they registered a specialist in international searches for missing people or works of art. They have a solid reputation built upon an outstanding record of those results. Amos Colby was employed in... Oh, he was the dead the body? The passport we found. Right was employed in Europe as one of their operatives, and he corresponds <gasps> to the description you gave. So he's the dead guy, okay. Unfortunately, the details of his last case were confidential as for now. I have included an approximate translation of the characters that you discovered, though it is rough, and I must admit, rather enigmatic. Sincerely yours, Mycroft. Mycroft is surprisingly sort of friendly, bouncy handwriting. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Usually he types to us, but this time he's like, let me just uh, throw off a quick note. Maybe that's his secretary's handwriting. Oh, yeah. Uh, where's this translation that he said he gave us? Was it? Did I miss it? So that's the passport. So this is the investigator. Whose passport we found. Mm-hmm. Who was like, watch out, giant squid. And we were like, better stay in this room and look around. <laughs> we did say that. Hmm. Okay. So, the poor devil who lay under this warehouse was indeed the owner of the passport <laughs> embellished with the drawing made in blood. His thumb was gashed. He is most assuredly the one who made the drawing during his captivity. Wines and sipulations. Yeah. 
Furthermore, if this detective agency has any standing, it rests on the reputation of its associates. They are rightly regarded as proven professionals. Proven. Therefore, this dying man's last efforts were to Probably leave alone. clues for those who might come after him. Detective. Remember, Watson, this man's one of my theories. Is also coated with <laughs> dust, and we found drawing drawn in that very same dust upon the floor. Yep. Exactly, Holmes. An addition symbol was there, placed within a rectangle. Right. Let us consider the facts, Watson. A number of people were taken by force underneath Warehouse 12, right. drugged, and yes. then transferred in boxes by ship to some as of yet unknown destination. Right. For the moment, London has nothing more to tell us. These people, whoever they are, have a small we're going advantage. To have to go to we should give the them no more. We must make our departure. Back I think we're going to Switzerland. Oh. Wait, Watson. Wait! I have a sudden thought. What do an Edelweiss and a rectangle containing an addition symbol signify to you? Switzerland? Yeah, the snake hates Switzerland and so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Is it put that space in? Switzerland, oh, okay, great. We got of it. course. Watson, we shall divide our time. Swiss flag, right? I shall report yeah. the particulars of Mr. Colby's death. We're smart. As this Mostly affair you. requires the We're utmost smart. in tact and discretion. Well, I uh, never. Thank you, I am sure. Watson, you know I'm impersonal. Each man to his specialty. Watson, I rely shut. on you to book passage for two to the continent immediately. Watson, that's his Watson, specialty. See what you can <laughs> yeah, learn you're my travel agent. Called the Black Edelweiss. <laughs> you're and determine it. if it is located in Switzerland. If this place can be found, I believe it holds the answers that we seek. Now, hurry, man. Oh, we're gonna get some Swiss on. accents, Ryan. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, we're traveling with the statue. He gets his own seat. <laughs> What statue? There was like a crumpled pe- <laughs> oh, <hi. sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Watson? <laughs> this is your specialty? <laughs> Which we had saved. Oh, oh, no! Did it just crash? Yeah. That train scene was too much for to render. Chugga, 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 chugga. Hexingale, you crashed the whole ding dang <laughs> game with your bits. All right, let's see where we saved. All right, we're just getting this building. You want to see all that gory stuff again? Okay. Uh, what do we do? We had to come over here. Speed run. Laura, good point. You're right. Bravo! Oh, goody, goody, ah, Holmes. Just what I like to see. Bravo, Sherlock. You couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> but bravo, Sherlock. Oh, bravo. Oh, good. With another warehouse, Sherlock. You know, More like not useful. sure about how to open doors lock. That's not the full name. <laughs> Sales. And according to this tab, the case is measured two meter by one meter by we one. We get it there, coffins, Sherlock. <laughs> oh, again. Watson, you don't have to come along. Cloth to hold something very different. This is really important to me. To I really form. like squid monsters, you know that. <laughs> oh my God, Holmes. Blood. Ash, we get some more music. Yeah. Look, Watson, a page torn from an. This drawing on the back of this page. The end of this hat pin is covered. It would seem likely that whoever cut themselves with this pin yeah. is yes. also. Yeah. 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 This is hardly. Throwing roses, hoping you will stop singing. I can only assume. <laughs> Wait, it's becoming the Sanford and Son theme, weirdly. 
Sherlock theme. <laughs> I actually clicked it. Like I was trying to click the skip button. And so it like went ahead and he was like, oh, I to save lives to get them out of this bunker it's like yeah. <laughs> oh good times look closely watson look closely watson come on watson you're better than this stay alive watson stay alive whatever may occur Why is this contraption in this warehouse for, like, daily use? You know... Haven't you ever been thirsty? <laughs> Why would you put a spigot so high up on the ceiling? You gotta Bravo, fill this Holmes. bucket, and then, I think, take the chicken across the river. Oh. Spigot, a spigot, you gotta make a basket? And Watson, we must inspect this place carefully. What happens if I go in without the light on? You just do it. Uh oh, I don't remember the God, code. God. Oh, you I just have likely, it. Watson. This place seems a robot claw. <laughs> it was. Uh, the last one was chicken, and the second to last one was backwards F. Robot claw. X with a little hat? X with a little hat. Backwards F. Chicken. X with a little hat. This is backwards F, right? I think so. And the other one was chicken. We nailed it. They say we don't remember anything because of that. Do you think they had to bring in a mechanic who made that uh, symbol? And then they were like, but we don't want the mechanic to know the password. Box, so they yes. just gave him half the of the symbol. Yes. And then they, These are brothers they the made the symbols on the wall. House. And then they're like, that's Quite too useless. easy. These trinkets so are they nothing but charming decoys. put a little Sharpie on the flashlight. Yes. A box full of pendants I in do the shape of a pelican. These are brothers. Which, which part of it did you think was the best part? Well, I think that they were pretty smart. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. This thing again. Okay. Everyone, alert. We're going to see a gross body. I was it's big. not the body isn't the man the person isn't gross everybody's beautiful everybody's body is different useful. is everybody beautiful <laughs> everybody is a beautiful body huh what there are no prerequisites this, for bodies but yeah, this I mean, body that. other things have been happening to this body that the body was not responsible for why isn't that and body beautiful the, the body is it's it's creepy crawly. If everybody's beautiful, why isn't this body beautiful, Ashley? Uh, this is this is a body is no longer a body. It's pieces, parts of a body. You're and sort of a holistic, the left okay. sleeve of this costume bears slight traces of blood. And here, I definitely didn't see that there was a costume on the floor last time. That's my daredevil costume. <laughs> Here's the. Switzerland flag. Uh oh, this is where I get take, taken down from Twitter for my eel shaming. Now, Watson is trying to sue me over being too close to him, and I don't understand. I feel like <laughs> I'm not doing anything untoward. 
<laughs> it looks like you're trying to get him to start a hoedown. You're like, oh, ba 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 What a peculiar drawing. Hexing others, living things inside everybody. But are there alien things inside everybody? Could be. Not aquatic animal. I mean, depends on your definition. Opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right. Right, we didn't get the shot of Sherlock being like. Boxes, and here is no, one still did they do in the movies? Label. I wish so. Wish we had. Flower, you know he did it in canon. He did it. We just couldn't animate and it. Is black. I must take the contents of this box to. I gotta say, this animation is no better or worse than the council. Hmm, that smell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this... yeah, it's it's not as it's not as far away as you would guess it would be. I would rather see these people's faces than the council faces, which were like almost too realistic. Like I could see every pore, but they didn't have <laughs> teeth. It didn't make sense. What a Yeah, horror. they were going for something specific with that one. I agree that it didn't fully work. Oh no. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. See, this is why I wouldn't want to watch. I don't want to watch the Saw movies. I get not wanting not wanting to watch the Saw movies. Although I am, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of the Saw movies, but I have seen a lot of them. Excellent, a perfect copy of those symbols. Uh, but Bravo, home. I like suspenseful, scary, like slasher movies. Mm -hmm. Those aren't too gory. This man fought hard before. I like his to think about. End. The dreadful looking How they broken did this statuette stuff too. reveals like, much about his terrible You know, struggle. like if you see somebody in a 70s movie like with zombies eating the stomach out and you're like, oh, he had to be sitting under the floor in a fake body. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm sure you've seen the uh, YouTube of the Mabim Bam Jigsaw bit <laughs> where Jigsaw's your best friend. Oh no! Fights you over. This man's really right good. index finger is coated with dust. Officer Jason. He really should wash his hands. Do you think that this good monster put the little modesty washcloth over him? Yes, I do. This man has a small <laughs> wound well, I'm not, on his you left know, thumb. I mean, he must have drawn that strange figure in blood. Not that I'm saying he's beautiful. Page. We all agree. <laughs> ah, squid monster. <laughs> Guys, let's all cancel squid monster. This man was <laughs> let's do it together. Shortly before his death, this unfortunate man must have. Inter what are you speaking about? What the hell are you all talking the about? People were. Oh my God! Oh! Holmes. Okay. Look. Let's see if What's it could be leeches or squids. Or slugs. Or eels. Why are we there, but we also do approach him? I know. Okay. So far, he's beautiful. Haha, <laughs> no notes. <laughs> uh oh. Now he's got little. Uh oh. Yeah, they're separate entities. Oh, they are separate entities. Yeah, they're like little eels or snakes. I thought they were hands before. Mm. Oh, I, mean, they I think are they're supposed either. to evoke a tentacle, but I think you could come. I think this could still be a, a practical explanation. Like, oh, oops, we Let's accidentally place, left Watson. one egg, <laughs> eel egg in, in the man. <laughs> Wasn't that then, your indie drama about divorce? One eel egg in the man? Yeah. And then a, another eel, See, eel was just in the stuff. room and they found each other. That was what eels. The I am sending That's a letter. They multiplied. Haven't Watson, you ever heard I must know what was the in the metal boxes that we found like in eels? this. Pst. Did the eels cut him in a spot in like a perfect little like square so that they could come out? It's unclear whether that was poor, uh, like poor art or whether he had been like autopsied and they were coming out of that wound, you know? Yeah. But yeah, it's a good question. Do you want to save here real quick? Uh, yeah, I was just going to finish this part real quick. 
And there, it is done. In case it crashes this again. This is a very fine... Uh, this goes here. Perhaps if I apply heat... Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes, a little this, a uh, little that, and first you smoke that the opium, that's undoubt... important. And then you put this on fire, question, and the acid, no... and well, we do... Am... How can that be, Watson? Please, such... The... What? What? Uh, okay, go to back to the docks. Um, what are we doing now? Um, I already forgot. To the pub, then to the customs place, then back to warehouse 16. Okay. Sir, did you? Yes. Uh, the man's. I think that we should not rule out the fact that this bartender could just be several eels in a trench coat. Yeah! I mean, we've seen it before. Hexagon, what's your drink of choice? Okay. Customs place over here, right? You get to read about the baby. Do you get sick for all first-person stuff? Like... Other, like, if I play shooters or stuff, I'm not sure if you've watched a lot of me playing first-person things. I mean, we, I guess the first Holmes we played was first-person, but the mouse was so insane. <laughs> that was I'm so surprised slow. you weren't sick from that. I was. It, it was just the, I just hope that like, these registers contain what... constant flashing of new images, that because it was so these fast. These must be the registers. But it's this okay. It won't be special. a problem next time. Ooh, apple cider. One of the best drinks I of all no time. To go yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. We had some uh, cider this, this week when we were home. That was hard cider. Well, I have hard cider here, but I just like good old fashioned wholesome apple cider. Oh, I see. You're just I, saying regular apple cider. Sure. I like it cold. I like it warm. Mm, a hard order yeah. to follow. They never know what to give you at the, <laughs> at the bar. I've, I've never met like an apple cold. cider I didn't like. I like it warm. Well, what do you want right now? <laughs> I like it cold. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way again, right? Uh. Yes. It's over it was there. to the left of the bar. Right. It's that it was to the right, but it's whatever you're thinking is the opposite. It's like if you're already looking left, it's on the right hand side, but that's not very helpful. You are imagining coming out of the bar to your right, but I think it's like if you're looking at the bar to the right. The iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some. Yes, cinnamon. Comforting. I like it cinnamon. Warm. Hold on, Watson. Apple These... cider. Can't argue with that. Now, this is the part of the game where we just measured a bunch of things. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard sold. Hard shoes. Hard hat. I'm working on a romantic. I don't because my wallet's fat. <laughs> Sorry, what are you working on? <laughs> it's not going to be a better or worse joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are so good together. Never can't one up each other because we're always equally bad. Uh huh. Mine was going to be about a romantic comedy about a cobbler called Heart and Soul. I need something. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. Here is a tab. This one is less damaged. Okay. Excellent. We now know the source. Ba, ba, ba. We go back. This is to... where you started singing Edelweiss. No, that was earlier because it said it earlier. Don't you put words in my mouth. <laughs> Um, ba, 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 back to Baker Street again. Have we received any word from Mycroft? Okay. It seems to read this and we're done. So we're checking along. Furthermore, if this detective agency has exactly let Sweat, Sir Land. No. Sweat, Sir. <laughs> 
Switzerland, of course. Switzerland. Watson, we shall divide. Well, I never. Watson, you. Watson, you I son of a bitch. <gasps> okay, so I don't really understand what that statue is. Oh, there was there was a he was hold on. The body Holmes, was bludgeoned with a piece some of the statue. dreadful. Here I thought to find you deep in some ancient news clippings, seeking similarities with our case, and yet you waste your time reading some I'm outlandish adventure tree. based yeah. upon some Look at the little era. rolling hills in the back. Beware of considering popular literature as unworthy of our interest, Watson. Besides, yeah. am I not myself considered by some of your readers as an improbable hero living out outlandish adventures? Yes. Wink. Holmes, you go too far. Oh, Holmes! Let's not speak on this, Watson. I want a divorce. What do you think, he, Lou? He's gonna buckle it in. <laughs> this horrible statuette gives my nerves a shake. Maybe Holmes. you could have put it in a suitcase. This trip to Switzerland. Well, don't carry it loose. It brings back unpleasant <laughs> associations, doesn't it? Watson, <gasps> those events should remain where they belong in the past. However, I will not be joining you in Switzerland. When the train arrives in Lyon, I'm afraid we must part company, as I have business elsewhere that will take some time. But Holmes. As a doctor, your impeccable credentials will allow you to ably advance our investigation at the Black Edelweiss Institute. Edwards. My presence would likely only arouse suspicion and harm our cause. I am writing the name of a Swiss policeman on this piece of paper. He is stationed Just at the village near the institute and is a most reliable and capable man. <laughs> Turn to him should you entertain even the slightest suspicions during your visit. Love him. And you, Holmes? As for me, Watson, I will investigate this yeah, case. Yeah, his hands from got real close side. and giant. It's a hitman level. Look. Same level. Oh, mountain. yeah. <laughs> and so that was the seventh time I met Holmes. Now, the eighth <laughs> time, we were all in a. If this is a Bond movie, the whole, like, mountaintop would come mm. up and it'd be like, Black, it's all Keep your wits about you, Watson. Should you witness anything out of the ordinary, no matter how trifling it seems, go immediately to the head, valley Holmes. and ask for Superintendent <laughs> Bilger. I know him. He's a trustworthy fellow ask and has for an been adult, informed of Watson. your presence in his district. <laughs> he should prove to be an able ally. He is staying perfectly still, but the carriage is, like, rocking around him. He's you know, in a 40X I... movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Came to see Black Widow. How pumped are you for Black Widow, Ryan? I'm very excited. I, I don't know what to think about the movie itself, although I hear mostly good things. I'm not sure. If, it's not like, oh my god, my favorite character. It's like, okay, Black Widow, she's cool. It'll be good. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson's good. I'm sure it'll be it'll be really fun. And I do, there's some characters that I'm hoping, you know, like Taskmaster's in it, who I really like. Is that who David Harbour is playing? No, he's playing. I'm not sure if he's playing a character from the comics or a created character. He's playing the Red Guardian, I think, or something like that. And he's sort of a Russian Captain America. Oh. Uh, I think. Um, probably in the comics. Here now, in the comics. this is hardly reassuring. Coachman, wait for me here. Coachman? What's not reassuring? They have the doors closed at a house. Don't like this at all. Coachman? I have, I have no, no interest. interest in going there. Um, well, let's see. We've been going for four hours. What do you think? Should we push for out a little bit? Should we end here? I think this is a good stopping point. Okay. Just because you're sick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you. Tired of you. What? But I'm the best. <laughs> it is. It's a good stopping no, point. We'll I feel like Switzerland. Switzerland. This is, we're in a new land. Switzerland's going to be like a big reveal. We don't know what's behind those doors. Mm-hmm. I feel like I it's a good point. I agree. Um, oh man, Anne's one-upping me on comic book knowledge. I know she can do one. it even while she's not even looking it up. She's I looking know. at apartments. She's like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, look, I left an, I left an emote unsent. So uh, there's a Dorito, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they have Doritos? On yeah, it's, it's even called a Dorito, like name brand. It's like a licensed emote. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, what do you know? Um, cool. Well, uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying this. I'm really liking getting back to homes. Um, Me too. Yeah, what's your thoughts so far? I'm liking it. Yeah? I I think the cut up dead body and the eel creatures was not what I was expecting. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. 
I thought, I mean, like compared to the other two where it was just sort of hours and hours of us just like walking around a Victorian house mm -hmm. looking, you know, showing a picture of a beautiful woman to people. Um, this one definitely is much more like adventure gaming where yeah. we're like going to different places. We took a train to Switzerland. I don't love the subplot that we're just like shipping off. We're kidnapping dead people and shipping them off places. I can't stress enough that we're not doing that. <laughs> we're I'm not, not doing involved it. at all. I was asked, I declined. <laughs> Hexing Elf um, says that they're thoroughly gooped, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, but I hope that that is he, good. He's Gwyneth Paltrow's brand goop. Goop. Put an egg anywhere you want. Yeah. Uh, but I agree. Mm -hmm. Go on. I'm loving, I'm loving our central British dum dums mm -hmm. and their silly <laughs> accents. <laughs> I'm loving <Strain>! every. <laughs> I'm loving every single texture, wallpaper, fabric <laughs> choice. I like that everyone has the same mustache, except for that bartender, which I think he's suspicious. Yep. Um, and the guy, the two people, identical twins in the different <laughs> uh, disheveled coats. They didn't have mustaches. <laughs> I really, really was emotionally invested with the guy that needed his wooden hand, and I hope that he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's where I am right now. I agree. It plays nicely. Boy, having being able to just quickly press a button and see all the interaction points in is so great. This is easily the like best. It's the most mechanical accessible. video game we've ever played. Yeah, I would say it's uh, more accessible maybe, than Perot. Yes, I say Perot's the only close second. Perot was was good uh, about that stuff, but it was also so limited in like its puzzles. And it was almost too easy. Yeah, the puzzle box stuff was like kind of challenging, but that was like oh, a mode true. you were in. <laughs> this is where like <laughs> we there would be a cut to where like it was almost too easy, and it would like <laughs> cut to a compilation of us trying to solve the same. How many like, birds is it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a chicken. Five hours of a wardrobe. <laughs> um, well, now the whole chat's gooped, and I hope it's a good thing. I still, uh, like, I'm still not totally sure, but I like to think that it is. I'm gooped and gobbed. I'm glad uh, that people uh, stuck around. Thanks for watching, and we'll um, play again next week with some more Sherlock. And <laughs> it's gonna be great. Anything else before we head out? Next week in Switzerland. Get your prize. Get your prize. <laughs>